It's almost nine o'clock. We've got to go to work. That it is. It is. Well, not very close to nine o'clock, but it's pretty close. Welcome back to Ones or Wednesdays. I'm your host, Frosty Trigger, and we are going to play some from Mission 4. Might be able to beat the game today. So, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan, Dan. That's what we're going to try to do. So, I think we're very close to the end. I mean, very close. Seriously, very, very close to the end. So, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can do this today. Let's see if we can. leveling for them. I can't remember what I did last week. <laughs> I may have. Possibly. I may have taken care of this. If I did, I'm so... Well, I don't have any fun, so I think I, I think I remember doing this. I think I upgraded a little bit. Let me just make sure the weapons, right arm, glow tusk. Is that what I need to have? Yes, Van Tam. Okay, all right. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, I think um, I think we're good to go. We just check items. Just want to make sure. Wait, do I, will I need an ammo pack for this? Four thirty-six. I think I will, actually. Machine gun ammo. Alright. Oh, and uh <laughs> I got this right arm here. Bazooka Joe. Rocket launcher for <laughs> duo. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the Minotaur. I've got another one of these too. I just don't know who to put it on. But I have a bazooka arm for this team. That's amazing. I got a bazooka for this team with rockets. Six rockets come out of this thing. An area of six. An area of six spaces. This is god tier rocket launcher stuff. Range of 8 out of 8 through 12. Wow. And then she's got a bazooka arm, too. I, I don't I don't have skills for that, but, you know, that is just freaking awesome. So, we'll go ahead and go with that. Uh, I don't know if I want to change colors. I think I looked at some colors. I might want to finagle a color in case we have too much of the same. Well... Let's change this up here. Black. I don't know. Fama should be black. What color do we not have? That's one. And we kind of have a, a little bit of blue, purple, red, and a green. We can make them white. You know what, actually? That's not a bad idea. Unless there's another white that's that's got some coloring to it. Arctic? I could make a Arctic, I think. That back should be, uh, uh, look too much like the other one. But that's not so bad. Alright, I want to change you. Well, you're already Arctic, too. Jeez. 
Mm. Do I have a desert? Kind of do. Got a lot of desert colors here. I already did the canyon, drab yellow. I think I want a green color. Desert four. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. All right, everybody's pretty much set. We can rock and roll. We can do a lot of stuff here. Let's let's move out. I have no money left. Well, let's get out of here, Daryl. Come on, Daryl. Don't give me that face, Chafer. Let's go. We're gonna teach Chafer a thing or two about a thing or two. I think. Why are we stopping? Well, you know, man. You know how I feel, but there's nothing only the three of us can do for them, is there? I guess not. We still have a lot to learn about military tactics, but I'm sure Thamon will whip them into shape. Yeah. I'd be a little sad if they got killed, but we'll soon forget, right? If you say so. Even if everyone in this country starves to death, it doesn't matter to us, right? We're leaving this place for good. Who cares, huh? Rengas. What? Sounds like you're more worried about them than I am. What? No, I, uh... Chafer, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, just playing with the radio. I wonder what's on today. Confirm, gorillas are on the move. I repeat, gorillas are on the move. They seem to be headed towards the unfinished highway southeast of the capital. All units move to intercept. This is Delta 1. It looks like they're planning to enter Caracas from the highway. Delta 2's team will move to block them. You people make sure you are ready to defend Caracas. They will have your heads if you let any of them in. Oh no, that's that crazy chick again. Thamond's plan didn't work. It won't last long against her. Don't worry, Thamond's with them. He'll make them fall back as soon as he sees they're in trouble. I don't know. He tends to lose his cool when he starts fighting. Lewis can be pretty stubborn. I don't think they'd run that easily. You guys... But you said who cares, right? That's right. Now get this truck moving. Are you sure? Alright, Rengus. How about this? Provide them with our services as mercenaries, and they let us keep the gold as payment. That's a reasonable business proposition, isn't it? Okay, okay, I got it. So we're going to help them, right? No, Schaefer. We're only going to earn our gold. But Daryl... What are we going to do with the transport? It should be in Venezuela by now. I guess we'll have to let it go. We have to go help. I mean, go do business with Lewis first. One of these days, Daryl. One of these days. To the moon with you! <laughs> Pow! <laughs> I think that's what they're going with. I don't know. I don't know. Possibly.
All right, people. We're breaking through to that highway. Follow me. You say you're reading a homing signal from that squad. Actually, the signal is coming from the truck at the rear, sir. Then those deserters must be with them. What is the status of the UCS army? More reinforcements are underway, and their Atlantic fleet has also been sighted near the coast. We don't have much time, then. All right. There is no need to bother the colonel with these deserters. I'll take care of them myself. We'll see about that, dude. We'll see about that. Signal read is good. Uh, approach this somewhat cautiously. Oh, jeez, what are you right there? I'm gonna get laid out flat as soon as I start moving. Alright, so what I could do, I can't back up. It won't let me go back. Alright, so we're just gonna take a forward approach. Get there as fast as possible. Back to linking up. All right, so I can move out, and I can probably get in here a little bit easier this way. Let's do that. Don't need grenades to the face. It's like don't throw eggs in your face, you know. Oh, and uh, I want to try out this uh, rocket launcher. the splash damage. Holy cow! Yeah, that, that's huge. That is huge. She's anti-fire anyways. Probably put her up a little bit. Oh my god. I have to... Wow. I have to move up just one more space. Right at the corner of the Y. That is fantastically huge. I'm gonna literally get pretty much everybody. Oh, I just want my space forward, actually. No, can I go on forward? I don't think I can. I think this is as far as I can go. Yeah, this is as far as it's going to go. So let's. Let's start this up. Alright, so I want to. Right around this way. We're gonna get in there this direction. I'll try to move out, move around. Spread out as much as possible. Got two. Got two repairmen here? Just got one. Oh, I just got the one. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just gonna keep spreading out. These these guys are gonna move forward this way, because they kinda need to anyways. back here. You can keep moving forward, bro. Okay. Alright, 
I thought I had the circular. I thought I used my shotgun there. We're just gonna go full bore on him. We need to get over to the other team quick. out of there. Let's pull you back to here. Okay, good. Use that up. Attack. More of the good stuff. <laughs> this radius is so huge. That is nuts how huge that is. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna burn up as many as I can. <laughs> it's an awesome rocket boot Bazooka Joe thing. Bazooka Joe arm on my side. Um, Alright, so he's gonna probably push forward a little bit. Uh, let's spread out a little bit more. Shotgun guy. Might need you here. I might need you over there. Not sure where to go right now. I think I need you in the back. You might need to repair a pro over there. Get him all nice and repaired. Oh wait, you're the one. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you don't need it so bad right now. Let's just get you in position over here, just in case if you need to. Um, looks like this can still work. No, Grenades don't go that far. We can't. How much I can do with that right now? Just gonna. Not gonna go too far. I don't want to move up too much. I do want to get closer to her. Sniping skills. I can. I can get close. Let's stop there. They're all gonna just make a little walk this way. But then again, I might need a guy up here. circular set. Okay. Let's not swear anymore. Let's just do it. Please get the blast. Oh, good. Schaefer, go. Boom! Good stuff. Leg's gone. I can walk away from this guy. I don't need to be next one. Uh, I need to get up. Will not. Wow, I gotta go far. I don't think I can even go that far. Nope. Alright, well, seeing as how we're still pretty close, let's just stop here, take the shot. We'll be done. That radar. Oh, he still hit both of them. Okay. Can't do much about that. Circular. Do they have any uh, rocket launchers over here? They probably should if they got radar guns. Grenade. So two grenades. Okay, so he's the rocket launcher. Okay, two of them there. All right, let's see.
not down. There we go. Making the moves, doing the things. This guy needs to die somehow. Something's gonna kill him. This is, like, freaking wonderful. I love having this thing. I'm so glad I fought to get this thing. We're just, we're just gonna cover the whole thing with fire. That is beautiful. Pair up a bro. Where? Lights? have a repair you can do. Get a good shot. Good sniper shot. This is good. Perfect shot. Dang it! It wasn't so perfect. It was close to being perfect, but I was a little bit off. Just a little bit. Oh, man. Can we get them both? I think we can. Let's make sure we do that. Should I shoot? Aim down, break some legs. Oh, I can't shoot through all these guys. Let me. Do they have radars? No, they don't. Just shoot. Focus down. <clears throat> Let's do that. And I'll get a headshot. So I've got a couple options here. Let's get him over here. We're going to get a good assault going here. Looks good. Minus shot. Double shot. There goes your uh, stuff, dude. So sad. To repair up a bro. Oh, you can't do. Oh, that's right. You can't do that. Um. You know what? I'm gonna need some guys right here. Let's roll hundred legs. I got lots of grenades. I need to melt them a little bit more. As much as I can. I could go on a full barrage assault, I suppose. Grave S. Two with 24, or Grave S2 with 23, wouldn't think. I think we'll go with the left hand here. <laughs> Gotta do repairs all day, apparently. These guys are like, um, yeah, we're not gonna be able to um, use our radar guy too effectively. <laughs> Let's just not do that. Okay, that was kind of acceptable, but it's not ideal. You guys are totally gonna get pincered. It's not even funny how how strong the pincering is gonna be here. I'm going to totally knock you out with the pincer. Try that. 
No more grenades. Bye bye. I gotta shoot my rockets. So I am a rocketeer. I cannot believe how big this damn thing is. Look at the radius on that stuff. Wow. I'm just barely getting this guy here. I want to almost include this other guy in the back. The, what does he have? Rock, uh, he has rockets. Uh, I'm not going to really do him that much damage to him. I'll do more damage to this one dude here. This is amazing. Well, let's get them all. I got, I got enough left. I'm so happy I played that simulator and won this thing. Boom! <laughs> I love it. I like it. See the one? Oh, okay, so he's he's my Mr. Fix It. I'll have to come over here though. Oh, I got two Mr. Fix It. Oh, I can't shoot him. Or pair him up. Repair a thousand to the body. So I was wondering last, it didn't like fully go all the way up. I'm a little curious. Let's see what the deal is, yo. I'll never hit them all. That's unfortunate. Perfect. Good angle. Good angle. Zoom to... Oh! Oh, that's gotta hurt. No! <laughs> Can't do anything else. I'm gonna take him out. Just gonna take one of them out. I'm not screwing around with this. I'm going full hardcore on these battles. I'm not screwing around. That's all the AP I got, I might as well. Double shot two. Well, that was pointless. You guys liking this? grenades fly wherever they may. This is just massive. Totally massive. Can I cover all of that? <laughs> oh yes. Yes please. <laughs> wakey wakey. 
That's a bay key. You guys are gonna love this. you yet, and there's a reason. Oh man, whatever. Can we get a hit of some kind? <laughs> you know, to pass the trees would fall over with Pro Mission 3. Here they don't do that. That's, that's okay though. But... Oh my gosh. Eat it! Couldn't if I wanted to, but we'll give it a shot, literally. Other guy over there. Slip of the button pressing. Yep, go circular here. Up, let's knock him out too. <laughs> down, down to the ground, down. Got okay. Wow, that did some damage to me, actually. Uh, uh, Fire two. Schaefer with the win. high ground and I want a good shot. Actually, that'll be fine. Uh, let's get out of the way so we're not getting hit with a million different things here. Good. One big bracket left. Cover pretty much 
all of this. Yeah. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five guys. His last rock. No, a six. Six of the last rocket shot. Let's do it. <laughs> That's nice. That is so nice. I like it. I love it. That's all I can get. Let's tag him. Bank him, tag him, and get him out of here. I don't want to get him too far to the uh, within range. Unfortunately, I'd rather take a bad shot than expose him. If we got lucky, that would have been cool, but. Good. Here we go. <laughs> Bobila. How's it going, ma'am? Sir? Ma'am, sir? Sir, ma'am? Sir, ma'am, sir? I don't know what to call you anymore. Those are big guns, dude. Boom! In your face, bro. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> We're like, uh, yeah, our missile launcher, our, our radar guy's gone. We're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need a statement. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna need you to go out there and, like, risk your life to do this. This guy's toast. This guy's toast. Oh, he's toast. He's got, if he's got anti-fire, then I'll just bazooka Joe him, but probably should move forward anyways. Kind of need to do that. Could hit him with my bazooka. I don't know what his, ag his evasion is. I think I'm just going to hit him with some flames. Or Look at the damn arm that she's got. It's massive. That is massively huge. Massive huge. I'll smack him again. This guy might be really evasive, so let's just fire him up a little bit. We'll pepper him a little bit before he gets here. Zoom two. This dude is literally in the fatal funnel. This is not fun for him. Not gonna be fun for this dude. They all gotta take the same trip too. Uh, let's pull back here. Actually, I'm a little bit, yeah, I'm a little bit damaged. I'd rather be back here and just wait this out. Take free shots, snipe up. Pro oh, you know what? I should have just sniped some focus. <laughs> boom, boom, bazooka and sniper. Perfect combo. A nice wombo combo there. Ah. Pair of the man. The myth, the legend. Daryl. Alright, guys. Whenever you're ready. I 
I can only move one space at a time. Oh no! Oh boy. Block 50. Nice. Got some skills. That's, that's good. Now it's grenading time. Time to nade the field. Full of nades. Oh crap. I, uh... I bundled with my uh, cable provider, and this is what happens when you do that. That's not good. Um, I hit from there. A little repair. A lot of repair. I went with grenades first, though. Perfect. Run down! Almost. Systems down. Ooh. I'll show you systems down. bazooka tag. Oh, that's nice. I gotta get in there fast, actually. I can't... I, I will get grenaded like crazy, but... I'm sure I will. Uh, let's just stay back there so we got some... So he's not so damaged right now. Good shot, bro. Good shot. I just have the grave. One move, Willy. That's all he had. Just one move. That's it. And he died. This guy wants to play. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to move him out of the way, though. A little too close. Too close to grenades. And I'm, uh, yeah, gonna get nailed by tons of grenades here, apparently. Wow, did that do serious damage to me? Uh, oh boy. Let's uh, move over here. Start up there. I gotta move him back here. Shoot 
thing laying on the ground. <laughs> Come on, dude. All your bullets should hit if he's laying on the ground. I don't care what you're shooting. Anything really it should work. It should work like a charm. <laughs> Snipe body. How's it going out, Sim? What's up? You know what? Actually, we should probably get inside. Oh, he's got no he's got no juice left. Did you see this? This bazooka arm, rocket bazooka arm I got. It's monstrous. This thing is freaking monstrous. Storm! Systems down still. Still systems down. It's it's not operational at the moment. Oh, I got no AP. Oh, I got. If I get no AP, they just end my turn. What are you doing? Could use an item, I guess. I wanted to get him out of the way so I could pop a shot here, but. as we go as we go in here. But I kind of need it. You know, a little bit of a repair march. Oh jeez. Gonna hit a lot of dudes along the way. Bazooka arm left. Can I get him from here? Really? That's blocking my way? I wouldn't imagine that would, but they put a little square cube around there. I'll descend. I should be able to hit him dead on right here. You know it. You know I'm right, man. Maybe. 
I really think I could hit that dude. Let me target a, a truck. Just hit this guy, he's already hit a little bit. I'll save the bazooka for the other dude when I get there. Well, let me target the little truck there, though. That's interesting. No! <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> I'm totally out. It's a race to the finish line. Whoever kills the most fastest... Who do you think is going to get the final kill shot? Oh, so. You know what? He's... He's a little too... I don't want to put him... I don't want to decommission him right now. And you are still down. Wow. Can I get a... Can't even get in there to get a shot. It's too. It's just. It's not. Yeah, it's not gonna. I'm worried that if I lose guys here, I might not get to use them for the next battle. I'm just gonna pull back for now. Oh! What are you talking about, Broke? I never die. I am immortal. You know the Highlander song? Remember that? I hope you're fine. How you doing, Broke? You feeling less broken today? Be awesome. They love going for Daryl. Daryl is like, a, you know, one of the main targets. They will go for uh, Rengas a lot, too. Gotta keep them high. Gotta keep them high. Cornelio Saddam's Latin counterpart. <laughs> Kinda looks like it, doesn't he? I don't know. Maybe? Dude, did you see my... Did you see my my Vonzer there with my bazooka rocket arm? You see how damn big that is? It's longer than the, the Wanzer itself, you see? Her right there, it is. I gave her this, uh, it's called a Minotaur arm. It has a rocket launcher, and it has like eight range space, or eight length, and it's like six wide. It is so huge. I melted the whole front line with it. Like, it has six shots too. It just went boom, boom, boom. Just melted the whole front thing, came in, pincered them, they came in the fatal funnel, boom, 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 done. And I'm left with this. It was, it was over before you knew it. Literally. It was that fast. It was really cool. Yeah, I'll keep going to circular saw here. Our tires currently stuffing my face. Awesome, dude. Oreos. Pork grinds. Or bacon. I guess it's not the same. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> what do you have? What do you have in your mouth? 74. I'll take it. Snipe. Body. They got rockets anyways. I can't dodge it. Oh! Good shot. <laughs> she got bazooka. She did a double shot. She did a double tap with a bazooka. No way. She shot. I've never seen them shoot two bazooka. I didn't know they would do that. She shot twice with bazooka. Wow. I'm thoroughly impressed. That is amazing. Spectacular. Sorry, this guy's got no weapons left. No weapons. Wait. Look at this. She shot twice with a bazooka arm, had 18% and hit. Well, if I'm that lucky. Oh, I wasn't that lucky that time. <laughs> I've been pretty lucky so far, it seems. 
Well, I might as well just do an attack here, you know, finish it off. Thamben is the teacher. He needs to get, you know, he needs to school his uh, apprentices here. He needs to school them, you know, because he's a teacher. So, gotta do some schooling every once in a while. It's a good opportunity. Uh, we're gonna go right in your face and use my shotgun. Because shotgun. Because shotgun. That's the reason. So if you ever want a reason, just say because shotgun. That's why. That's all you need to know. Far to lob. Go over here. Well, can't do much else with grenades right now. Just gonna have to just enjoy, you know, just enjoy the rest of this. Finish this up. Uh, we are close to the end of the game. Altison and Broke and everybody else is here. We're close to the end of the game. I don't know if this is the second last fight, third last fight, but it's one of the final fights. I think, um, I want to say that we're going to have to fight, uh, what's his face after this, and then maybe we're going to have to fight Ivana Know Her after that. So it could be something like that. Where can I get my angles? These, uh... These coolers are in my way. I can't get a shot from there. What if I can get a shot from over here? Do you think so? I think it's too... Angle's too bad. Almost. Maybe from one back. What do you think? Good angle? Bad angle? No reach. Alright, well I'm gonna keep them over here just in case I get a shot of some kind. It's gonna play like that. Yep, that's how we're gonna do it. That's the way you work it. This guy's like, I need to run away! All my friends are dead! You know what, I'm gonna read him that book. All my friends are dead. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if I can see myself see it. Oh, maybe I can. See this? Oh, that's delayed. Wow, it's even see-through. I don't think that was the same color. See that? Oh, my friends are dead. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> let's, just, let's just tear them apart. That's mean. <laughs> Thunderbolt! No! Should I? Yeah. yeah what can I do? He, he's the only guy left. I might as well. <laughs> the only, the only thing on his road. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> yeah, it's like deep dish pizza, you know. But uh, more philosophical, apparently. <laughs> So next time I'm playing with a bunch of people that want to, you know, kill me or destroy me, I'll just uh, show my skills and read them all. My friends are dead. And they'll, they'll get the point, you know, get the picture. Literally. If I have a camera going, then it'll work a little better. Otherwise, it, just, it, doesn't, it doesn't have the dramatic effect to it, though. Know? <laughs> it's ghostly. It's the weirdest thing. Like... I guess it's the weirdest thing. Is it, it shouldn't be the same color. I'm not seeing it that way. It should not be the same color as the background. It's like a yellow color. If I put it close, then it's like see-through. That's weird. That is really weird. This guy is going to get away. I don't kill him now. I don't know where he's going to, but he's getting there pretty quickly. And that should do it. Wow.
Wow. That bazooka rocket arm? I want to put it on another guy, but I don't know who to put it on. I mean, Rengas might be able to have that, but I gotta like level up all the skills for that. That is awesome. <sighs> Just look at that thing, it's so beastly! Wow! Wow. That is beastly. Uh, I'm gonna be right back in a second here, gonna get a refill. I know, it's huge! Look at the thing, the thing is like, the thing would literally, this would probably, unless it's made of some kind of like, light alloy titanium, or something like that, that would literally just tip her over and she would fall over on her side. The balance of that, not even... I, I can't even speak. <laughs> She's right there with the big freaking gun arm! <laughs> See the rocket on the top with the box and the underneath the, you know, that sort of rectangular cylinder shape that's all like dark uh, gunmetal gray right there right right next to Daryl's face she's right there she's got a power pack on that's supporting her you know giving her extra power but I mean she would literally tip to the whole side and just fall over unless she had another gun arm or some kind of counterbalance on the other side it, it would have to be made of some really good alloy or, or it's just because it's a game I can you know, balance isn't a thing. Get out the war shades for this since we are near the end. Gotta get serious here. Shouldn't we try to find another way to Caracas? <laughs> Beginning of Flintstones, yes, perfect. That crazy chick shouldn't have many of her goons left. All we have to worry about is the state army and their second rate Vonsers. We'll be fine. All right, amigos, let's give them hell. I have to get a new controller. My my uh, circular B button is sticking. Um, and I think the A button is too. I have to get a new one. <sighs> I burn through controllers like every few months. They don't last. <laughs> Colonel Major Vavilov has been killed in action. Vavilov, thanks soldier. And Glacier is not responding to my calls either. I received a call from Lieutenant Colonel Zeman a few minutes ago. Attack in the UCS fleet in Madeira has failed. He is asking for further orders. <laughs> tell him to go throw himself off a cliff. Oh wait, tell him to come back with his transports to the airport here. Sir? Ma'am? They can never get this right. Apparently whoever designed this game has never been in the military. <laughs> or else just doesn't care. <laughs> wait, should we call her sir or ma'am? 
Oh, no. Let's just go with Sir. Whatever. It's the future. It's the future. Everybody's a, just a dude. <laughs> oh, apparently. <laughs> the way of digging the go <laughs> The goatee inspired green screen background. The goatee green. <laughs> screen screen. Hey, thanks, dude. Yeah, I thought this looked pretty good. So I'm just I'm just gonna run with this one. This looks pretty I think I might do this for the future. I got a few other ones that I like too that'll probably pop here, but um Thanks, Broke. That means that means a lot to me, man. We'll divide the troops here in two. One half will get on the transports and conduct the final part of the plan. But sir, ma'am! We are we were told not to, to go if the plan failed. Are you going to listen to Glacier's orders or to my orders, soldier? Ma'am! Your orders, sir! Ma'am! Ma'am, sir! Ma'am! Sir, ma'am! Ma'am, which? <laughs> and get my machine ready! I'm going out there! Right away, ma'am! Ah! Now that everything's falling to pieces, I'm gonna do as I please! <laughs> Memories! <laughs> What's the song, Memories? Remember that song, Memories? How does that go? I thought you were gonna start uh, typing that out, putting that in there instead. Oh boy, we're gonna get in so much trouble, aren't we? We are almost at the center of Caracas. How far is the TV station from here? Not too far. Alright, let's make this one count, people. Please! I don't want to die! Let me wait here until it's safe to go forward! Oh no, you don't. You're today's guest of honor. That's right, you're coming with us, Diaz. In a tank. What's going on? It looks like the Zafters have put the State Army under their command. State Army boys probably think that Diaz is relaying his orders through the Zafters. Makes sense. That's why we're having the real Diaz go forward and tell the State Army to retreat. After that, the only thing we'll have to worry about will be the Zafters. Do you think it'll work? Soldiers are trained to follow orders. Don't worry. It'll work. I will drive the tank. Hey, what's going on here? It looks like you followed us. I assigned him the supply troops in the rear. Please, Lewis. I want to do my part in this. I will not let you down. But let him do it. He'll be okay as long as he goes back to the rear once the state army retreats. But wait a minute. I'm supposed to trust this kid with my life? Yeah, you better do your best to convince the state army to go away if you want to live. <laughs> oh, broke. <laughs> what? Who's calling? This is Colonel Donalds of the UCS 332nd Mobile Company. Oh! You're the people who were fighting in the sub uh, suburbs earlier, aren't you? Identify yourselves. UCS saw us, then. We are La Alianza de Libertad Venezuela. La La La. la <laughs> <laughs> Gorillas, huh? <laughs> she was, yes, we will be advancing into the cracks in a few minutes. Your Vonsers are in the way. Get out now. We refuse. We will take Caracas back ourselves. Gorillas, take Caracas. Don't make me laugh. Unless you are out of the city in 15 minutes, I'll have my men shoot you along with the Zafrans. Great. Good to see he hasn't changed. The UCS is going to attack us too? Not if we take the city first. We have to hurry. We have to get to the TV station. That's the only way for us to stop them from shooting. Once DS puts Lewis in charge, and Lewis asks for a peaceful resolution to all this, the UCS won't be able to attack us. Well, let's get let's get to work. Daryl, tell me if you want to change the roster of pilots you want to deploy. Okay, great. <laughs> Zoom in in the future. Sounds like <laughs> sounds like narco terrorists. I think they're coming in here to uh, secure the, uh, well, opium? No, marijuana fields, right? Which fields would be here? Opium, well, I guess it depends. I guess you could pretty much plant anything almost anywhere, but... A lot of times securing land is basically to take some kind of resource. Drugs, gold, salt, minerals. It's always some kind of... It's always some kind of resource grab, pretty much. All right, so I think we talked to Thamon three times here, right? 
don't know. Is it here? I know that I, uh, Sasha came by and told me I have to talk to him three times. I can't remember where. Maybe I got what I needed to do. I might have. Okay, I don't need Gomez because, you know what? Like Altison said, like everybody has said so far, melees suck in this game. It's not that they're not good in their own way, but it's really, really hard to chain them in with other combos and stuff. They kind of have a lot of AP that they don't really get to use. I mean, they can, uh, unless they could like move the AP into evasion or something like that. Coca, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's do another. I almost want to do another sniper, but it's the city. So it's a city, so there's going to be a lot of blockades at different angles. So I think we'll just lob some grenades at them. I think that's the best way to do it. Okay. All right, sounds good. No, I think the future is going to be a little different. It's I, I see the whole... I see the whole gender thing because I'm part of an older generation. I just see it like every generation has a different sexual thing acclimated to it. So you go back to the 70s, you got the hippies, you go back earlier, you got the beatniks, uh, you come past the 70s into the 90s um, or into the 80s and you got, uh, what was it? What was the other generational thing going on at the time? What was it? It just, it seems more like it's just a generational thing. Every generation is going to have some new sexual thing going on with it. And so now it's just whatever you imagine. Ten years from now, everybody's going to be looking back on it and just looking at it as a generational thing. That's literally what happens every ten years. Ten to twenty years to get different generational aspects that pop up. Because... Just kind of how that goes. And then people in the future are going to be looking back, laughing on everybody in the past. You know? It just, like, it's always it's always been this way. You know? In the past, there was the hippies. And we get to the 80s, and we kind of laugh at those. Oh, the 80s were grunge. Yeah, that's right. Why did I forget that? So we go the beatniks, the hippies, the grunge generation. Then we go to, um, I, I don't know if the millennial or Generation X. I'm not sure what that was I'm not sure if we really had anything radical then we get the um, gender identity generation and then in the future God knows what that'll be but this is literally just this is just a coming out because it's a sexual thing so it fits with the other types of generation and the teenagers they always want to do something really radically different and that's literally what we have and in the future this will all go away and it'll be looked upon in the past like yeah, punks. Yeah, punks. So, you know, you get different generations and they're all a sexual identity, which is the same thing that this is. It's just they want to be more forceful about being anything, you know? So the future will be yogis? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hipster. Oh, hipsters was the night. Oh, that, no, that was the 2000s. Yeah, hipsters was 2000s. So every 10 years, there's a new type of generation. So this generation everybody's fighting against with that identity is just a sexual identity that we've done every 10 years. It's just a different take on it. In the past, it was grunge. I grew up with grunge. So everybody was cool with that, except for the older generation. And before that, it was the hippies, which the grunge wasn't cool with. So every... Next step up, they're not going to look down on the, the previous one. Like, it, this just it's just a thing that happens every 10 years. This is how I see it. You can give me a different explanation if you want, but... Sorry to go off on a rant, but... <laughs> just, that's how I see it. That's how I see it. I don't see it as anything different than what's already happened so many times. Chafer... Uh, I talked to Thamon three times. Nothing really happened there. It is... And I, I find it funny people fight over this so much. 
and they don't realize what's actually happening. They don't really, you know, it's not just showing up in their face like, we're just doing the same thing we've already done 10 years ago. A different title to it and a different way of being, you know, for that younger teenage generation. It just surprises me. Like, we, people don't see it like that. They don't. It, it doesn't just pop in her face like, oh, I get it now, you know. But it'll happen. I don't know if we need to upgrade. I think we already did all that, but we might have some weapons. Might have some weapons. I don't know. You know what? I don't think we have any new anything, really. Unless there's like a... Uh, a flight backpack. I think I used an item somewhere. Mini Max? Taking a Mini Max. It's, I'm gonna put a Mini Maxi pad on uh, Lewis here. I'm pretty much set. I think everything is set. I think all I have to do is probably buy uh, some pilot skills, get some pilot skills going, and it probably could. Oh, it would be really good to get some. Uh, let's let's check out the pilots. Make sure we got all the points here. I don't know if I was able to get all the upgrades. Oh, I did get all the upgrades. Good. Block ten, revenge mirror, double assault. Don't need that. Nothing there. Faint three. Anti-break. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, my my circle button is sticky. It's sticking and staying in place. When I press it, it'll stay down. I, I press buttons really hard that I break controllers very easily. <laughs> I have a lot of power with my uh, with my gameplay. Holy cow, dude. I don't think I really leveled them up with skills. I did. If only I had a shield. I think I did do a shield in the past, but you don't get a good... You don't really get a good weapon if you have your shield with this guy. You really don't get a good weapon with a shield with this guy. Well... Tell me how, and maybe I'll make it happen. But I don't know if it's really going to be a thing. Oh, we need some points. What do we got? Skill slots. Set skills. Excuse me, a shotgun. You know, I th wait, does he have a shotgun or two machine guns? Watch it on the phone sucks. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know how this looks on a phone. Resist move down, resist link cut, resist systems down. I want that at least. But I do want to buy some other points here so we can... Put the link linking up. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, this is what I was doing. That's what I was doing. Boost two. Use that. Buy skills, link points. Link points plus two. Points plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. Whoa, wait. I might need something else. Upgrade? No. Nope. Barrage? Should I? Yeah. Do I need minus shot? We'll give it a shot. Literally. We'll do it like that. Oh yeah, see that's the thing. I need I need to buy link points here. This is gonna save me right now. This is going to save me, is link points. So let's go buy some link points for everybody. 
do have the money. If I can. That's too much for just two. Unless I got nothing left to do. Oh, you know, I may have already done this. Or else I'm just maxed. Okay, who would need the link points anyways? Okay, it's Chafer, Rengez, Thamon. Okay, between Chafer, Rengez, or Thamon, we'll see which one needs it the most. And then we'll get all that going. Rengez and Chafer are both eight. She's out of 10. Thamon needs it a lot. Okay, Thamon and whatever else I want to do. And we're good. We can rock and roll. You know, evasion would be nice to have too. This is mighty expensive though. Under 29. All evasion. Go, man, go! We're gonna evade like a boss. Evade like a boss. Whoa. Wait, what do we do? We need uh, skill slots. Do we need more skill? Well, I got two. I only got to get two more here. What abilities can we get? Um, I don't really need any skill slots at all. I don't even need speed. Well, speed would be nice, but I think if, I think we can just... Expensive! Think of all the gold you'll get when it's over! <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm thinking about myself right now, though. See, that's the point. You need to think about yourself in the present tense more than you need to think about yourself in the future, but it is good to think about the future, too, you know? So I think we pop the evasion off, get that saturated, oversaturated, and uh, we'll probably be good. You know, maybe a little speed is good. You'll never hear me say that again, though. Uh, blink points, anti-break. Do I need that? Wait, what's hold? Uh, I don't really care. Move plus. Uh... Does she have all the skill slots done, though? 11 link points. I could go without the last one right now. Out of 12, I just need more skill slots. I do not have that. Well, I guess we're going full link points then. That's fine. Max AP and charge. Those are all important. Maybe a little more important than one point right now. Evasion is two. It's gonna wait on the other stuff there, and we're good. Set links. This is awesome. This is awesome. She's gonna have a bazooka arm to defend and help everybody out. Everywhere. Ok, 
get her boyfriend to do it. This is awesome. I love this. She has... This, this is so good. I love this. You know what? I kind of want one attack link for somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll shoot her bazooka. She doesn't have any skills, so I don't need to give her one. Or I don't need to give her two points. So she might as well, like, join the game. Be a part of it. Be a part of the festivities. Festivi festivities of light. We're good. We're good. All I gotta do is upgrade a couple of little things. And I don't know if we have any new simulators. We might have a new simulator. I don't know if I did this 10. I may have done this 10. This could be the one I got that from. I'll do that later, though. We'll shave it up here. Shave it up here. We're going to move on. going to do a little more of the game. Get going. I think I talked to everybody. Did I talk to Elmo? Did I do the whole salmon thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Just for luck, I'm going to open a fortune cookie and see see what our luck is going to be like today for these battles. Okay, from here on, we go straight to the TV station. Oh, it's already broken. That's not good. That could be unlucky. Uh, vague There is a river up ahead. The station is on the other side. There's too much open space between here and that station. It's going to be rough. <laughs> oh god, not her again. What's the matter? Are you afraid of me? Come here and fight. On one condition, you must promise not to damage the TV station. You are in no position to negotiate. What's the matter? Are you afraid of losing again? Do not mock me! <laughs> the Daryl <laughs> or something else <laughs> she's being cautious for once I wonder what she's up to she's I think she'd be my future ex probably she probably wants to wear us down well we still have an ace we can play against the state army so shall we let's go let's go it's time to do this Oh, geez, you stuck him way out there? How's that gonna help me? Alright, that's gonna be interesting. We'll, we'll play that game. Oh, not that. Oh, oh, geez. Press one button and everything goes to hell. Alright, put you there. Cornholio! Goes over there. Alright, before we do this, I'm gonna read my lucky number. Positivity will become a catalyst for change. Amazing. I don't know if you can even see it. Maybe you can. There's no number on it, though. <laughs> Governor Diaz, what are you doing here? Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> Stop fighting! I didn't order this! I'm still in charge here, not the Zaftrans! What shall we do? The governor has betrayed you! He sided with the gorillas! Kill him! Who are we supposed to be fighting? I don't know, and I don't care anymore! Let's get out of here! Okay, four dudes you don't have to You don't have to fight. We'll take care of them ourselves. Don't let the governor escape. Kill them all. Do I have to protect the governor? I hope not. Oh man. Oh, I kind of remember this. Whoa. Okay, so we have, wow. We have a lot over here. I really don't know how we're gonna play this. I guess just kind of slowly move forward and we'll see. All right? I guess. You know, Elmo might get himself killed, and then that'll end my battle here, which will suck. So hopefully that won't happen. Dude, check out the range with my bazooka rocket. Now check out the width. My minotaur gun here. That's my rocket damage. Range and radius. <laughs> Look at that. I gotta be very careful how I use this thing. It's a gigantic map. It's gonna take a while to beat this down. Okay, so there's only like three dudes here. We could take them out with this team. I think we could easily do that. Let's let's prepare. Let's prepare for that. I think what we're going to do with this team is we're going to link up when we get past the, uh, the two bridges over there. And we're going to make it right. Oh man, why are you doing that? Do we lose immediately? I hope not. I hope this tank is like amazingly like super powerful somehow. Oh crap, and he's got radar there too. Three potential missile launchers in the back. Alright, we're gonna back up and uh, sort of take these guys out easy peasy. Please group up, thank you. That works out. <laughs> Quite old man, I have to show Lewis what I can do. I have to prove to him I can fight like anybody else. I have to be the first one to reach a TV station. You crazy stop. That way is full as after someone, anybody save me. Oh no, Alma's gonna get himself and Diaz killed. We have to protect them. Yeah, he's gonna be, uh... Oh my gosh. <laughs> my bazooka rocket. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I need the whole bazooka rocket on these, these three guys. We'll see if I can just snake them with just... A little grenade because I could literally like it, there's only three of them here you know I will hit these other guys though wait could I could I hit those other dudes with the minotaur rocket I can I could cover my other team from this distance 
with... Wow, that is awesome. First, I have to save Elmo, though, because... <sighs> Elmo is, um... Too cuddly to die. Plus, she has extra damage boost on her grenades, so she's a little more powerful with that. A little bit. Boom! <laughs> Can I go up here and have fun? Kinda can. Wait, do I have double shotguns with this? I do. Should I go for it first? Should you go up there? Well, you're left-handed. Dude's left-handed, so... Hold on. Just have better accuracy with this, I guess? Alright. This is my repair guy. I don't want dying real fast, so I'm gonna do this with you so that they'll have a worse worse angle. Block 50. Gonna light you guys up. Should I do this? I really should, shouldn't I? <laughs> I don't know even why I was asking that. I should have just done that immediately. I need to hit the this guy, don't I? Good, legs gone. Legs are gone. Do it to it, boys. You know what? Actually, I do want to be here. Oh, Elmo! Elmo! Please no, man. Should back up a little bit. This is bad. Oh, 
Oh, cool! Buildings do block rocket launchers. Where are you going? Right handed. Just because. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for coming in my fatal funnel. Letting yourself be pincered, that's totally awesome. I love that. And you stay put. Don't move. Don't move. Alright, we have an uh, interesting um, dilemma. Oh, what am I doing? First, let's do our rockets. Should I go for him or should I go? Well, you know what? There's only two here. There's only two there, too. Let's see if our Minotaur Rocket series is up to the task. You know, there's this... If only... Ah, oh, I wanted to do it like that. If only I could get a better ankle there. Good. I'll hit them all. I'll send you all to God. Need to get rid of these, those kinds of dudes. Those bros, twenty percent. What happened with the hundred percent? They just get washed down the drain somehow. Barrage, interesting. Please do something else. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boom! Check out my bazooka! Bazooka! I can't see what's going on. I think it's good. I think it's good. You shall move over, sir. So we can get an accurate shot. Of which, even though I'm right on top of you, apparently 29% is all I can do. Oh, squeeze me. This building has a lot of cover fire for it being a one-story building. It's amazing. It has amazing cover fire, amaze balls. Punch, we need punchies, man. Punchies! Punchy, 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 punch. Guys, need you to knock this guy out. Oh, 
probably should go for legs, but... Yeah, maybe I should have gone for legs. Oh boy. That's not good. Come on, rapid fire. Terror shot. Good! Gone! What in God's name are you doing? Oh, he's gonna keep going forward into the freaking range, isn't he? Oh no. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Poor Elmo. Poor Elmo. Screw the bazooka. Look at that machine gun. <laughs> hey, we got a building hit. Unfortunate for the uh, workers. Uh, the worker bees in there, but uh, fortunate for me, then I won't take extra damage. This will be, uh, will be safe. How are you even hitting him? Dude can just walk away from that the whole time. I have a feeling this team is literally just going to be sitting here this whole time fighting this while we're like working on. All the other stuff. <laughs> Look at them machine guns. I love it. All right, we gotta take care of uh, dude over here. This dude. Circular. Bus saw. Shotgun. Ah, oh, crap! I was supposed to do my grenades first. What am I thinking? have you go last too, don't they? Could hit myself to hit him. That was definitely unfortunate. I could hit three of them with the rocket launcher though. Ah, what's the best course of action here? Thunderbolts? I think I need to hit him hard and fast, so let's move all the way in. Just do a small thunderbolt to hit this guy. It does have a repair pack coming, probably, but I will have to repair myself too. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sorry, Daryl. But you know, I could do a mediocre hit with the rocket. Hit the mall. Except for except for Elmo. Can't can't hit Elmo. Okay, we'll do it like this. It's unfortunate. I don't, I don't recommend this in the future. Next time, remember to uh, move Daryl last. Daryl needs a safe space. I don't know where that quote is, but um, definitely need a safe space. <laughs> but if I can get them all real fast this way, it'd be nice. Eighty percent. And he missed everybody. Perfect. That's why Barrage is the best skill in a game. Unbelievable. I can't shoot anybody? But why? I've been good. Right? I think. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Okay. 
Gotta break him down. Break his legs, get that gone, which they might be broken, but just a precaution. We'll make sure they're gone. Snipe, legs, hopefully we get this gone. <sighs> In slow mo. We have to repair you, little buddy. Do. Poor little ammo. All the way full. Good. I'm glad he's got a super tank that actually will help me. Super tank. Left handed? Left handed shot! Please get a kill here. Please. This guy's just gonna dodge. This guy's gonna dance and. Dodge everything, isn't he? Yes! Good. Okay, he's gone. Well, at least he's targeting the right thing. He targeted the right guy. There is that. There is hope. There is hope. Double assault. Oh, please, no. This is why double assault is one of the best skills in the game. Way more than uh, any melee attack you could do. Just do it. What do you guys think? <laughs> yes, spray and pray. That's literally what it is. It's spray and pray. That is exactly what Barrage is. Barrage sounds like really cool. You're just starting off like, yeah, just shoot everywhere and just hope that it works. Holy cow, he almost died. Uh, that's not good for me. Okay, so how much you have left? Oh, jeez, your legs are still pretty strong. <sighs> how are we going to do this, guys? Should I pull Daryl out completely? Does Daryl completely need a safe space? I'm starting to think he kind of does. I could get away without repairing Elmo right now, because he's kind of okay, but he could die very, very quickly if they all, you know, surround and engulf him like a madman. Sometimes you get to see a Bazooka Joe just go boom, boom, and just <laughs> knock two bazookas into the person and just slaughter them. How many times do you ever see that? I never see that. I love, 
seeing that though. That's awesome. You guys want to come back here? That's fine. Anytime you guys want to come back, I'll be waiting for you right here. Do I have enough rockets? Wait, I still have way more to go. Let's just wait here for now. Um, your sniper, you snipe, you shoot. You shoot two things. Boom! Like I said, Elmo can not <laughs> Yeah, I hope he doesn't die with this. Hopefully he won't. I don't... I don't think he will. You know, I just have to, like... Uh... I don't really have to do anything, honestly. I just gotta get, uh... Oh, crap. No, Chafer. Chafer needs to move up here. Pair him up. Pair all parts. There's a lot of rockets to the face. It's not fun. Um... Get you right here. I know we can repair him, but I don't have the distance to cover to get to the repairman right now. But I am getting it. So when we get there, we'll take care of all of that. She still has enough left for a grenade. Or. 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 <laughs> Four. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna wait there. You guys are just gonna wait it out. They're, they will come to us. We will have a happy ending. Of sorts. This guy's too low not to hit. Snipe. Legs. Go get him, Elmo. Go get him. We can do this, man. We can do this. Together, me, and Sesame Street, and you guys. Be a team. Team trigger. Oh, don't shoot Elmo! He didn't do anything! He didn't do nothing! Well, he did shoot you with, uh... With, with, uh yeah, but... He's still... He didn't do anything to you. Just leave him alone. Leave the dude alone. He's, he's no threat to you. I swear. Uh, he's gonna have to... I don't know what we're gonna do with him. We're gonna do something now. Getting beat the hell up. <laughs> I don't know if I want to move any. I mean, I can. I don't know. Whatever. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be totally fine. All right. What is my accuracy on top of you? Because it should be better. It's only a little better. That's surprising, but okay. Commercial? Now. Ah. 
Okay, buddy. Snipe body. He actually has some evasion. But he did. <laughs> Full defense. Taking you down, bro. I won't save you. Well, maybe one second, bro. Where are you going, Elmo? The party's over here, buddy. He literally just took off. He just took off. He's like, screw you guys. I'm going home. That was kind of what he did. I need a repair! Daddy! I need a repair! I think we're gonna be playing this back and forth repairing game with these these two little uh, hop goblins here. Perfect shot. I love it. Thanks, Daddy. No problem, son. Defend body with all I've got. Oh shit! <laughs> I can't anymore. <laughs> Look like he literally just took out the leg right there. Okay, everybody, we're following uh, Numbnuts over here because he's insane. Yeah, that's what we should probably be doing. Probably repair along the way. Yeah, he is insane. It's literally true. I could. Oh! If I could get them both, I would do it. Because I, I, I still have like four of these left. This would be perfect right now. But as I'm moving along there, I'm just going to shoot a rocket splash damage this whole area. Just for funsies. Since, you know, I'm going that way, almost going this way, so I might as well go this way and just lob some rockets over there. Hey guys! Way from far away, be like, hey, you need a little rocket help, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. Okay, man. You know what, they love to hit me from angles that I can't get them with. So let's play that game. I can't believe it's always... He always puts himself in this position. I, I, I got one hit. 20... 27, that's all I got. We'll play that game all day. I've got plenty of grenades. I've got plenty of grenades to do this. <laughs> plenty of this, plenty of that. You love to get smashed, that's for sure. Go Elmo, go Elmo, go! Go Elmo, go Elmo, go! Don't move, don't move, move in. And... Block 50. Thank you. Might have to repair his arm. Let's do it, guys. It is now time to fire rockets. Everywhere.
Snipe. Body. Never know what hit him. comes together. Just need a little bit more. I'm just gonna go all the way. Gonna go all the way. Go all the way. Doesn't matter, I guess. Oops! Lead the charge, Damon. Lead the charge. Someone needs to do it. And it looks like it's gonna be you. Does he not have... I thought he had items. He has no items. I thought he did. Well... I'm gonna have to grenade like crazy here. So they're just gonna dip and dodge the whole time. Broken out to send. It's it's looking like that. Let's get this other guy back. Yeah, they're gonna dip and dodge like crazy. I I need to I need to back off. It's unfortunate. I got to get the grenade in such a space that I can hit this dude. Down. Dunzo. Okay. And Elmo took the alleyway entrance. Okay. All right. Oh, I can go through here too. That's not bad. Not the best, but not terrible. Cannot touch him. I do have to make that movement though. Good stuff, good stuff. Slow motion, baby. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> Got skills to turn this thing into slow motion. What? Zero zero? Come on! <laughs> that slowdown, I know. It's awesome, ain't it? It's kind of built into the system, isn't it? Can I go over there? Okay, I can do this. Can I get a basic thunderbolt? I need to stand over there to get both of them with a thunderbolt. That would save me a little bit. Um, do the rocket launcher thing. Wait, what? Oh, no, not you. 
I'm just looking at this, I'm like, wait, that's not right. Holy cow, I can hit my own guy if I do that. Yeah, let's hit them. I, I need to move this other team out. They're just sitting back there all day. I can't get them to move. It's the last I'm going to do for helping them. I might do a Bazooka Joe thing, but other than that, I'm not going to do much more. Come on, Thamon. Ah. Let's do it. <sighs> do it to it. What do we gotta repair? What do we gotta do? I'm just gonna go full force on this guy. Totally trapped. Rapid fire. Rapid fire, baby! We're fucking one. That's literally what it is, isn't it, Alpha Sam? Oh, dude, always. Oh my gosh. Snipe, body, done. No more repairs. Boom. Cross the river shot. Right there. I want to go here. Repair poor little Elmo's body. All that damage. I don't think all you can really do is stand here and do this, so let's give it a go. Just do left hand so I can save some ammo. <laughs> Rough Uppy! Rough Uppy 2! Boom! Alright, that side is covered. I like it. Wait, is, is he tied? Oh yeah, they're... They're married, so... They're tied to each other. Bazooka! Bazooka time! 
Can I do it? I don't know. We'll give it a shot, though. My bazooka arm is just fantabulously long. With the slowdown! <laughs> and another one! In your face! Uh, <laughs> she can go twice! Oh, I love this! I love this game. Let's just take him out before he, he does a bunch more stuff. No more recon. No more recon. Goodbye. We ain't doing that anymore. That's going bye bye. Uh. Oh, I'll tempt him out a little bit. A little tempting. Gotta go somewhere. Just wait. Those other guys are literally gonna, just gonna be clowning around with this one little dude the whole time I bet. sucks is there's that repair guy there. So I'd have to literally like draw them out to an interesting section here. Uh, can I snipe from there? That's too far. Too far to run. Okay, gotta repair Elmo just a little bit. Top him off. There's a lot of gunfire coming up here. There's going to be a lot of battles. Uh, as far as who to hit... It's going to be a hard question. I think I need to take out the other guys first. I might want to come up this direction, but it really... kind of depends on where Elmo goes. You know? sitting back here really just taking care of this little flanking section that I can't really do much about. So I clear this out. Get a clear shot, please. Nice clean leg shot, maybe. <laughs> that was cool how we did that. Okay, I have no idea where this is all going to take place, but I have to be very careful and very. Uh, I guess wise about it or something. I'm just gonna grenade this guy, get his legs gone, because otherwise they could just dodge my bullets. And I don't have any extra ammo that I can really utilize here. Just wait. Get my team in uh, place here. Get the team in place. Pair everybody up, see where Elmo goes. That's gonna be important. Make sure this works out right. I'd rather go up north here. I almost want to go north. And, uh... Thunderbolts. I want to hit them with a Thunderbolt, though. You, sir! Should use all your grenades on this little... this thing. Right here. There we go. Legs gone. Now I can shoot him. Good 
Goodbye. Okay. Might have to repair up the grenades. Probably will have to. There you go, buddy. Okay, almost taking the hardest route. This will be interesting to see what happens here. We're gonna have a hell of a fight here. Repairman's gotta go. I can't have him healing up all that stuff. that. Split up a little bit. Piss them all off. Let's do that. Good. Seventy percent. like it. I like it! It's rock time.
Double shot one. Come on, little dudes. We're gonna get there. At some point, we'll all get there. We will all get there. He is totally out. I have to restock him. Gotta restock him with grenades. Gonna do that. Let's do that. Perfect position, Elmo. I love that. Now you can get hit with every guy that just moves around just a little bit. Oh my gosh! Wow, that is powerful. That is ridiculously powerful. What, you're gonna hit Daryl with that too? Oh no. Wow. Oh good, that didn't even hit. No, not again. Yes, missed. The whole way. Nice. Just stay back there, Mr. Repairman. You don't need to do nothing. You don't need to do nothing. You counterattacking me? Well, I mean, you might. Ninety-nine percent. Wow. I'm surprised that one missed. Actually, I'm really surprised. Pair up Daryl's right arm. Wait, all I got left is Bazooka? Oh, I only got AP for Bazooka. That's right. 44. Forty-five. Let's get the whole thing. Thank you. 80%. Good. Good stuff! Stuff is going down fast here. Yep, Gray's Eye. Let's get all that damage in there. Double shot one. Come on, bro. We need your help. a little bit of repair. Well, let's get you up here first so I don't have to pull back too far. Right? Yeah, he's down to nothing. I'd, I'd rather keep his percentages low. I know mine is bad too, but it keeps his... keeps him off my back from being able to totally hit me easily. The trees are kind of helping a little bit. We're so focus on Daryl, then we can have this firefight from here. That's fine with me. You 
did you gotta do it, bro? Oh, man. Twenty-five percent. What do you guys think? Gonna be good? Black fifty? <laughs> Under my legs <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> wow. Please stop. No. Grenade, please? Somebody? Anybody with grenades? Anybody. Anybody at all. Anybody with grenades? Please? Please help. Barrage! The perfectly wrong skill to use at this time. He took all that damage, though. Double shot one. There we go. Thank you, Thaman. Thunderbolt of lightning. Very, very frightening. Leo. Leo. Got a Leo. Got a Leo figure. Is he more? Chunky monkey. I'm coming. Okay, repair buddy. Get over here, bro. We need you now. You know, I shouldn't have gone to repair these guys. They're just never going to make it. We're going to finish the battle long before grenade dudes can even get there. Just take two or three spaces to turn. That's so far to move to. All right, let's move in. We're gonna do the whole thing right now. Grave. Kill it. Emma totally screwed this up. He could have killed that one Vanzer over there and he didn't do anything. Circular. Oh, poor Daryl. Block 50, thank you. You need to survive this, bro. <laughs> Elmo will be fine. Elmo will be just fine. No! 700 plus. You jerk. 76, 76, we'll do it. Block 50.
I am out of ammo. Rifle ammo max. I went out of ammo, guys. Minotaur? There. I need Hubby and I to kill this thing. Get them in there right now. Sayonara, dude. No! I'm out of ammo. Or I'm out of AP. I'm out of everything! <laughs> These dudes are never gonna make it. Never gonna make it. It'd be cool if they did, but I just don't know. It's way too far to get into battle here. Yes, good. Good thing, sir. You hit that. That's exactly what we should be hitting right now. We'll take out the repair bot, and then we'll work on uh, everything else. I think I'm a little... Ivana Noher is beautiful, but I, I, I really want to kill the other dude. The guy with the red eyes. Like, I don't want to kill her, but... What you do? I think that might be the next battle. They might literally finish this off and we'll be done. Focus up. <laughs> Double shot. Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Time to fire on them. Hardcore. Oh, I have no more. I thought I had another grenade. I have no more grenades. Okay. This battle has turned out really well. Boom! Shot you. Shotgun guy. We'll get there soon. And hopefully someday your extra grenade guys will get there. Sniper dude, punch might actually make it. He might actually make it. Okay. Nope, can't go there. Well, I could go here. Yeah, let's see that. Armor. Let's do the grave. Last shot. You're ready for takeoff, Daryl. <laughs> it 
<laughs> was trying to get up. He's like, Wait, I haven't died yet. No. Oh. <laughs> you have gone, sir. Good night. We've been down to one circular buzzsaw shotgun. Get two bazooka joes. Two bazooka shots, please. Anti break. Boom! Not again! Oh, that's cheap. That's cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. That is super cheap. You should be dead three times in a four times in a row. Four times. Elvis and Clip this shit. She did anti-break five times in a row? Are you kidding me? Holy shit! Go away! <laughs> Good night! Oh my god. How can I, I can't believe that. Was it six times anti-break she put on? How much is that? That is insane. Oh, somebody clipped that. That'd be awesome. If you could. She can use skills in that thing, I know. If you could clip, that'd be awesome. That was amazing. She's anti-break like six times. Six times. In a row. Okay, we got the win. Stamp it. That was a platinum right there. That had to be platinum. We just sawed through the competition. You won't take it lying down. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. That was an awesome finish. I'm actually happy it kind of went down like that. Believe it or not. I'm going to take a small intermission here, so if you need to get up and get something or whatever, good opportunity. We're going to continue forward. If this is the end tonight, I'm going to finish this tonight. So, which it looks like we're very, very, very close to the end. So, I'm going to push forward. Uh, might have another battle in um, e EC or the EU. We'll see. I'll be right back. But thanks so much for the clip, Atheson. That's a huge bitch!
Stokey! Stokey Boogie! So, you did it. I know who I am! I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude! That's right. Mission accomplished. Good work. You found any proof of their smuggling operation? We've analyzed the raw materials stored in here, and the results show that they do contain the same materials as the ones that were brought to Germany. Also found detailed files on the smuggling operation. You'd think they'd destroy this kind of evidence when they saw us coming. I've talked to some of the prisoners. They say that Glazier specifically ordered them not to destroy any evidence. Why would he give such orders? He knew we, the Durandal, were coming, and so he chose to fight us. What did he have against you? We had been a thorn in his side since the beginning. Once he knew his plan had failed, all was left all he was left with was a need for vengeance. My guess is he didn't care if he found any evidence as a, of a failed plan. I guess he chose the wrong people to take revenge on. Remind me not to get on your bad side. Will you be sending this evidence to the UK right away? Yes, we will. Prime Minister Nolan is planning to announce our success at the Central Assembly meeting in six hours. I see. Hey, Elsa, you have a call from Daryl. Put him on, please. Elsa? Hello, Daryl. What can I do for you? I managed to take out this after base in Venezuela. Really? Great job, Daryl. I also have some bad news. Some of their transports managed to take off. I think they're already out of the country. The Saffrons have retreated from Venezuela, then? It looks like it. But I have a feeling they still have something up their sleeves. What do you mean? It's just that. It's not like them to give up this easily, you know? If there's one thing I could give them credit for, it's their persistence. Yes, I'd have to agree on that. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Else it's probably just my imagination. Alright, thanks for contacting us. The transport you asked for should be arriving at the rendezvous point on schedule. Will you be able to make the pickup? Mm, uh, yeah, we'll be there later, Elsa. Bye. What do you think? It sounds like they've retreated. Why? What if they were planning on another attack? Where would they hit? I might have the answer to that. Oh, explain. There was one flight plan that hadn't been used in the data Daryl sent us. What was the destination? It's the EC Assembly Building in Paris. What? But they can't be going there. There's no reason for Zafter to attack the EC Assembly. They may have a backup plan to trigger a war between the EC and the UCS. The way things stand now, that data only helps to prove Zafter's guilt in all this. But if the Assembly Building is attacked while the... Uh, Premier is our meeting. Tell Ford Ken, we leave this place in your hands. The Durandal will go to Paris. I will contact Prime Minister Nolan and ask him to cancel the Assembly meeting. That way, you won't have to fight another battle this day. Even if the Assembly escapes to safety, we cannot let the Zafters run loose in Paris. We must go. I will ask the British Army to send a security force. You do not have to go. Colonel Telford, we have more experience fighting these Zafters than anyone else. We will be of more use to the British Army in Paris than here. Please, you must let us go. Telford. All right, do what you must. But tell me, Zed, do you train your people to be as stubborn as you? No, but I do expect them to develop that wonderful trait. Okay. I will have some of our gear hauled into your transport. You'll be able to access them from the one. Ah. Is this the final stuff, Altison? This could be, like, all the final tier stuff, I think. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, we got to do a little bit of uh, preparation here, probably. Oh my gosh, yeah. Do I have enough supplies? Kind of do. Do we get any uh, equipment that I 
have stored that I don't know about. <sighs> Plus 24. Let's go with the Tano. Plus 72. Mm. Go this way. Okay, so we're almost maxed out there. Zeter three is pretty good. DM. Let's go do that one here. What are we going to do for this? I'm thinking a Zeter might be what we need. I'm only getting plus five, which isn't great, but... That'll be the better pick there. Weapons. We need an upgrade for the weapon, though. And uh, we're going to need some... We're going to need a lot of ammo for that. 30 is not bad. I'd rather take that over 20 for an upgrade. That'd probably be good. You know what? Actually, legs, because his legs kind of suck. I love the spider leg look. It's awesome, but it's just not working right. Like, there's some areas I can't move around because they, they, they don't let you, like, go up a slight elevation for some weird reason. I wish they did. Doesn't work that way, though. Hmm. 
1% evasion? You know what? That actually might work. I know how many times Altusen have I shot and missed with 99%. I might be able to evade with 1%. So, that's, that's saying that, I might be okay there. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Plus 10. Left arm, let's... Nope, no go there. Okay, body. The frosty on is good. 45. I'll definitely get a nice bump there. I'll stay within the 40 range, which is still pretty good. Right arm bazooka, I like that. I think that's awesome. Just do a small upgrade and minus weight here. So we can actually kind of like take off and get maybe get some new legs. No, it doesn't look like that's gonna take. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Uh, 40, 20, 37. I'm gonna have to go with the 37 pointer there. It's the closest I'm gonna get, you know? You know what I mean? Know what I mean, Vern? Plus 24. Don't think I'm going to find another one like that. Not, no, not likely. Alright, let's give him a better gun. Right hand. Is that 20? Oh! Oh, I'm so close. From the cemetery to the grave. Can't even do that. I can't even do that. Okay. Oh, left hand. Let's see if we can save some weight here. Which I think this is end game, so I don't think there's any anything better than what I have. No, there is nothing better. Let's just do legs. Let's just do legs and carry on and move forward. 43. Okay. Can I get a different backpack for you, bro? Airstrike unavailable. No. You know, he's pretty good. I don't know if I really need to do much here. What do you guys think? Yay, nay? I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Let's get back one more thing. Let's get him some legs. Okay, now we're done. Now we're done. Let us set up some pilot stuff for the end. I'm sure there's some pilot stuff to do. Link points. Uh, 
Eh, why not? 200 points for here, which I, I can't do anything else with you. There we go. Got perfect missile in there. You know what? Instead of piercing missile, let's just go to boost two. That makes them just that much better. We're done, everybody. We're totally done. Gonna finish this game up here. Then we'll move on to some other Bonzer type of stuff. Thinking this is the end. It's kind of like Front Mission 3. You go to Washington, D.C. at the very end. Now we're going to Paris to the assembly meeting there. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Let's just move out and do it. Do it to it. What do you think, Alcin? Are we at are we at the end? Maybe second last battle? I don't know. Did you postpone the EC assembly meeting? I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Why? The assembly is in danger. Unless I have irrefutable proof that Zafkins are approaching, I have no way of convincing the assembly. Tell them anything, as long as the meeting is postponed. Prime Minister Nolan strongly wishes to go ahead with the meeting. Even though he knows what you know. Politicians' pride, is it? British troops have been secretly positioned around the assembly building. I think you decided to go ahead with the meeting when they heard you were on your way. It's a big responsibility he's given us. It's because he trusts you. I have something else to tell you. Elsa? Yes? Do you know a journalist named Lancaster? Yes. What about him? We received a facsimile from him addressed to the Durandal. It's a copy of an old newspaper obituary of an 18-year-old boy named Rolf Wagner. Wagner! The real Wagner! The one our Wagner replaced! Another piece of the puzzle. Lancaster said that most of the Blauer Nibel must have been replaced the same way. I've already reported Wagner to Interpol. If he is caught and he turns out to be a Zaftran, there will be more evidence to support your case. Thank you, Miss Allison. No, I should thank you. Save your things until we manage to save the assembly, Allison. I'm sure you'll succeed. I will call you back later. Second or third, hey? I don't know if they're going to give me anything else. I'm, I'm literally, like, right on the verge of winning the game, so... I really think so. You say second or third, I, I think... If it's not the very end one, it's definitely the second last one. We are very close to the very last battle. It has taken some time to get here, but we are almost done. We're going to move on with some other Wanzer games here on Veracity Trigger. You're going to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and save it up. Not really much to do. I want to see if there's a new simulator. 11 and 12. Okay, so there are some new simulators. We could grab some new parts. If this doesn't work, I might have to do some sims, but... I feel pretty confident. I, I think we can do it. You know, man, I... I think you're right. All right. 
We've entered France. The EC assembly building is dead ahead. Incoming missiles! What? We'll be hit if we stay up here. Drop altitude, now! Got it! Yeah, the future got rid of all that chafe. It was just too much to hate. It's too much to carry on board, you know? You don't need that stuff. It's our position. About 20 kilometers outside Paris. Let's go. We can still make it. Okay, let's talk again. It's important. That's That is kind of surprising. We have no... We have no chafe on this gigantic Wanzer carrier, which is also almost starship quality because it has maneuverability to maneuver missiles. Oh, they did hit you? That's surprising. You didn't even put that in there. Begin mission. Here we go. I think we're on the end, Altson. This is, has to be the end. I don't think there's any more. I can't give you any support unless you do something about the anti-aircraft batteries. I'll be on high altitude standby until you do. Roger, we're on it. Get back here the second we take them out, okay? Roger, make it fast. Who is it? Oh, okay. It's me. I didn't Neither. die. So you are still alive. We've lost the resource base. I managed to get away, but I couldn't use the radio until now. I know. Where are you? I have the door handle in my sights. What? You haven't left the EC yet. Get out of there now. Do not engage the door handle. No. I have no reason to listen to you. Wagner, wait. Be patient. We'll have a chance to get back at them sooner or later, but not now. Next time, I'll formulate a plan that the likes of them won't be able to stop. Glazer, you lost. And I don't have time to listen to your excuses. I'm going to fight them. I need to know. No? No what? Wagner out. Wait! Wagner! Come back with me to Zafta! We can start over! I have the perfect plan! We have the perfect Wagner. plan! Wagner! Here we come. What? This is Wagner calling the members of Durandal. Wagner! There! Wagner, stop! Zaftra's guilt has already been proven. So? So you don't have to listen to them anymore. Surrender yourself to us, and we'll make sure you receive a fair trial. No. I am not doing this for Zaftra or anyone else. I am doing this of my own free will. But why? There is no reason for us to fight anymore. Why? I have to ask you the same question. Why do you fight? Why do you put your life on the line for the EC and people you don't even know? Dashler Iron Claw? This little crab hand? Why you help? 
up Zaftra. Didn't you become a spy because you wanted to... No, I was only doing my job as a covert agent. I have no love for Zaftra. I want to know. I want to know what gives you your strength. Now show me. I'll show you all right. I'll show him all right. Enemy anti aircraft bombers. Okay. This is Zeman. Blower never respond. from anyone now. My only mission is to fight the enemy in front of me. But we have suffered heavy losses in Venezuela. I just don't have enough men to take the assembly. Help us, Wagner. I implore you, as a Zaftran, as a countryman. I am on my way. Okay. I think you're right, there's there's another battle after this. Wow, this is gonna be massive. So the biggest guys are the anti-aircraft dudes that I will have to take out. We are gonna have to split up into two different forces here. I think we're gonna have to just shove this in their face temporarily and then go hard. Pretty map. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Rapid fire too. Yeah, it's nice fighting in Paris. We're in Perry. So, what do I have again? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, I got the extra rocket stuff. Um, was he? Was that? No, missile launcher mostly. I can do a rocket. It's only three. I'm not going to get any other abilities here. Looks like I'm going to have to... There's only two of them. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Jeez. Let's do this. There's only two of them. If there were, if there were, uh, if there were a little more, then yeah. We're gonna have to make an interesting uh, assault here. We're gonna have to move around a lot. I don't know if I should go particularly one way or the other. I, I'm thinking about splitting up and spreading out, but it's still gonna be kind of hard. I'm also going to need some rockets just to hit these guys, too. Super Salami, can we hit something, bro? take out all that stuff though. Oh my gosh. Oh 
else am I to die? I can do a lot of massive repairs. Okay, so they're on a the move, they might actually come to me. Could save me some time. If they if those guys come to me, that'll save me a lot of time. I'm gonna have to break one of these links like immediately. Pair 600. Salvation plan. Fire machine gun. Apparently, I have the upper hand here pretty well, so I'll stay back.
vampire machine gun. That's what we're gonna do all day. Okay, legs are gone. Good. A little late though. It. Yes, dodging like a boss. Oh crap, yeah, he's not anti fire. Okay, they're coming to pincer. Stay safe for now. She's not getting hit. We'll push her up a little bit. You need to stay back. You can actually move up here. You'll be alright. So far. I wasn't sure if the angle is going to be a little too sharp and I wouldn't be able to hit it all. Galabados to Labados? I don't know if we should. But I don't know what else to do. It's either machine guns or something. Pushing it, keep pushing it. Oh, push it hard, break one of these guys down. Elsa. Okay, good, you missed. Try that again, please. Okay, that might miss too. Good, good stuff. So I was thinking. That's what I was hoping for. I was kind of counting on that. Serious pincer mode here. Let's take this bastard out. Nice juicy whiff. Nice juicy whiff burger. <laughs> what do you think about that, Broke? <laughs> oh, we got a nice juicy whiff burger right there. A big nothing burger, as uh, CNN uh, spokesman would say so. Big nothing burger. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>
Not Bosch, no! Not Bosch, no! <laughs> Uh oh. Now we gotta now we gotta take care. Slow mo shotgun. I love doing the slow mo's in this game. It's awesome. So awesome. We need to take out those legs. Of which I can't really watch again. But it works! Because he's really, really close to death. Nice. We get some easy shots here. You can only go so far, dude. Got the guns. You know what, just to finish him off, let's just make it nice and easy, nice and clean. He doesn't have to sit around and stand there. Yeah, if I could kill him. That's the thing. You know, we might literally, like, make this super easy on us here. Vampire machine gun. Let's do it. play now. That's not good for me. It's not good for business. Leo's stunned five? I only got five bullets left on this thing. I'm gonna have to use my vampire machine gun arms. I have to do it. Do I have? I got no extra ammo for anything. 26, cemetery 38. So I'm gonna need to do this. Double shot two, please do it, man. Guy's got too much HP. I <laughs> got 124 damage off me. That's all he got. Sayonara. Once the two bastards are gone, then we can call in some support. But until then, I'm left with one clip. I have one clip in my gun, broke. One clip left, that's all I have. That's all I have to my name is one clip, one stupid clip.
perfect missile. We're totally screwed. <laughs> I know, we're totally screwed. I got one clip left in my freaking... And I gotta kill these two guys before I can even call in a supply drop. And I don't even know where the supply drop can come to. And there's radar guys here too. Oh man, I'm gonna have to back the hell away and save myself. Somehow. And I'm getting totally pincered too. I gotta break this guy. I gotta break that guy. I break those two guys. Is that the guy? He ran away? Oh, dick. Oh, man. This is the dude I have to kill, too. He ran away. Cemetery to the grave. We're gonna do the cemetery here. Good man, oh good. He's gonna be a chicken shit and run away all the time, isn't he? Missile launchers, though, that I need to worry about. It seems like nobody's really using any missiles. They do have the option to, but they are not doing it. That is super interesting. They're not even worried about that. Well, if that's the case. I guess we're going to do the beatdown on this guy.
Okay, his legs are gone. I'll take off this one dude. And then I have to go after the other guy because I'm probably not going to have any ammo left. I can have like zero ammo left. I can trace this guy. If I get close enough to him, and then I could probably stay here and just lob missiles at him all day. Get one of these radar guys gone and we'll move out. Try to zone in on that guy. And get him out. No surprise, it didn't totally kill you off. There's the pull attack, Altison. There's that pull attack. I gotta get him out. I, I have to do it. I can't wait anymore. Still mech miss, yeah. They love to do that. They love to miss. Systems down. status. Gotta kill this dude. I'm not gonna get any extra ammo if I don't kill him, and he might as well die right now, you know? Can I hit him through there? Kinda can. Minus eight. I love that. Minus eight again. Perfect. It is so funny they're not doing anything. They have they have missiles they can use. Maybe the little trees are in the way or something? The little broccolis are in the way. You can't, you know, they can't do a lot with that. Get out the way, guys! Get out the way! I don't have time for this.
need you to go bye bye. Piercing missile. Boom. Just finish him off, get him out of here. Come on, play now. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Fence times two. Good job. Look more slow mo in your life. Never have enough. Looks like they're all gonna come out and play now. Do you want a piece of me, that's for sure. No, dude. There's no sitting down on the job, bro. Gotta get up and move. Gotta get up and move. <sighs> How much ammo do you have left? Oh, that's what that triangle does that. Totally forgot. 
attack. A lot of them in here. Okay. systems down that's oh that's right yeah try to knock him out boost too should work boost is a very healthy supplement so yeah, I recommend taking it because then you can knock out monsters Vonsers like this, boom! Done? It done. He had the ability to do that. Oh, he does have ammo. Just doesn't see it. Okay. him out now. So close. The 
Goodbye. Thanks for playing. Alright, I'll be right back. Doki. Twelve percent. Have fun. Okay, maybe I should have blocked it. <laughs> maybe a little bit. Yes, hit the transport. That's fine. Block it. I has idea. Amazing idea. I don't know what you're gonna think about this, but I think it's freaking awesome. This is my work. I kind of hope it will. But it will I don't know if they can detect what I'm going to do, but I'm going to give this a shot. They can't detect what I'm going to do, then uh, I get a win here.
work out really well. You keep getting that chance for a little buddy. It's cool. I don't know, Alpha did you notice uh, the little sneaky trick I did while they're distracted? Notice broke? Notice anybody? If you didn't, you'll see it in a second. Shotgun, no scope. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> Labrados to Labrados over... No. Little slow mo finish for that little spot. Hornets. This is a huge battle. This is way bigger than I thought. Just the second last one too. It might be the second last one. I think it is though. Trapped them all inside there so I can carpet bomb the whole section. Didn't mind if I was gonna lose my supply drop. That's fine. Biding time. Got three of them out of there, which is nice. Just gotta turn around and focus these two these two clowns down. for me. Thank you. Let's 
so much stuff to blow up in this one. So much stuff to I shoot through her armpit! Boom! Pew 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 pew! Oh boy, you need a repair, buddy. Go back here. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna just lob a missile at this dude. And we'll go from there. Really? I cannot hit... Wow, I thought I could hit you with that. Okay, let's get in position so that I can... Good job, Hermes. Good job. Right, let's get the sensor going about over a yard. That's fine with me. I don't mind that. Uh, let's do machine guns here, and we're gonna back off and drop off some missiles. This guy's gonna trail us for a while, but we're gonna move up to the other targets, so should be kind of okay. I'm still too... Wow. Okay. All right, never mind. We're going to do a machine gun attack then. Or circular. Yeah, we'll do circular. <laughs> I thought I remember, but they don't have heads. Why would they ever have heads, bro? <laughs> Well, they have a body and a head. It's mounted on the body, so... I don't know if they use that as a sensor or if it's just, like, for looks, you know? Because if you're in a wand, if you're in a Vonza, you really don't need to build a head. You just need to build a body mount, arms and legs, and that's all you really need. You don't need much more than that. You know? It's probably just a sensor spot. It just has all the sensor pieces to it, you know? It's like a hundred years in the future. I mean, if they did build it, I think it would be for aesthetics, you know? Most robots have heads. You know, most raw boots. That's true. Did they all come... Are they actually moving to me? It kind of looks like they are. Ooh, we're gonna have a fight. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. We'll, we'll do that. Who am I moving with? Oh, I'm right here. Wait. That was right. Where am I? <laughs> Raw boot. Do that. He needs a little repair, repair. You need to uh, chuck a whatever in his face. We've got 28 left. I can do this. Hermes will totally take care of it. He is the man to go to to take care of things because he repairs things and he kills things. He's about life and death, you know? That He's, he's kind of like a Scorpion away, if you, if you think uh, Zodiac wise. Maybe. I don't know. Just spouting stuff off. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I need a place for all those special camera sensors and comms. You know, uh, a head would be the perfect place for it, actually. I don't think you and the in the Vonzer are in the head. I think you're in the chest of the body somewhere. And you know what actually would be nice and tricky if you put it in a random spot? Like, if you designed your Vonzer and you put, like, let's say you want to be in the left side of the cavity, or the right side, or the bottom, near, you know, the butt, just so the enemy has no idea where to shoot to kill you, you know? They have no idea. So they would never know. And they would just try to shoot your chest, be like, oh, he's got to be here. Nope, you're not there. You're down here. You're up in the shoulder, you know? Yeah, you're, you're not where they think you're at, so that you can easily survive. That would be the perfect way to do it, really. Ultimately, I, I think it would be. I really do, you know? I'm really into that kind of thing. You ride in the crotch? I, that might be the safest place, because, you know, you're juking and jiving all over the place. You know, they're shooting to the side. They might totally miss you. They might go for the chest the whole time and never know. 
But if the manufacturers were like, nope, this is where we're putting the, this is where we're putting the pilot, and that's where it's going, well then, you know, kind of screwed. You know, you're you're kind of set to where you're supposed to, where where they tell you you're going to be. You know, they are where you, they tell you you have to be, which could be very bad. You know, I would think that the best customized uh, Vonzer would be to have the pilot set in any location within the Vonzer so that you can easily, like, dodge a kill. Like, you just have to know where you're at in the Vonzer when you're piloting it so you, like, have every other part get hit more than that just so you survive. <laughs> that would be the only real true way to do it. Seriously, it would truly be the only two way to do it. And you could easily survive so much stuff. Boom! There goes the dynamite. I almost think the neck part would be maybe the safest. You know, because people are going for the top of the head or the chest, but they might miss the neck. You know? Crotch might be a good spot, you know? I wonder, maybe even like the right leg or something. <laughs> you set all your information up. Or is that, you know, you're in the foot. Maybe the foot's the safest because then nobody would shoot at the foot. Nobody would shoot down there and be like, guys gotta be up here somewhere. You know, you're basically playing a game of like, where's the pilot, you know? And then you're shooting everywhere, but like, I'm in the toe, I'm in the big toe. You didn't even know that, you know? I'm right, I'm like, I'm like crammed in this big toe here. About the size of a bathroom. That's how much room you have, but you're safe, because nobody would ever shoot you there. They think you're up in the chest somewhere, you know, but you're definitely not there. You're somewhere totally else. Totally different. How about power plant battery? I think the backpacks would be better than built into the torso. Would be better than built into the torso. Blown away the backpack. Easily swap it for another. Okay, that's some interesting. That's interesting discourse there. Um, let's just kill this guy. I need to get him out of the way. I gotta kill them all anyway. They won't, they won't let me go without killing everybody. I can't just like make people surrender. Like you know, what? the one thing they dropped in here was surrendering. I almost wish that you still had surrendering in here, even though it doesn't really get you the parts. I still think it'd be nice just because. You know, it kind of like I'm done. You know, you don't have to you don't have to deal with it all anymore. You know, the guy just surrenders. But I think they should only surrender when you have no arms. You know, no arms and maybe just legs or no arms, no legs, and then just like I surrender. I totally let a dude surrender, but they don't let you do it. Here. You got to break every single thing in this game, which is okay. You know, it's not too bad. But it's okay. Because, I mean, seriously, if, if I was in this military here, whether I was fighting for or against, I'd be like, I got no arms, I got no legs. Like, can I hold up a flag and just get out and run away, please? Can can you just let me go? I mean, I cannot survive this. I would totally be like, yeah, about that. I cannot, I can't take this anymore. Totally can't. Not have to replace the whole Vonzer. Yeah. Should have allowed you to keep fighting Vonzers with pistols. <laughs> that is the craziest and funniest thing about From Mission 3. Is you can actually attack a whole Vonzer with a pistol. Pew! Pew! And then sometimes you hit the eject button. I don't know where in God's name the eject button is on the Vonzer, but you can literally pistol shot the eject button and knock the guy out of the Vonzer, get in his Vonzer, and go boom, 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 and kill him with it. It's the craziest thing, but I've had it happen to me and against, you know, and for me in different scenarios. It has happened. It is the thing. Craziest thing, but it is a thing. No, I can't shoot. Do 
you know what? I will be doing From Mission 3 again this next year. Uh, might be doing a co-op if, you know, I get the right people that want to do it with me, then I'll probably do that. That'll be a lot of fun. If I can get a co-op FM3 going, that would be hysterically fun. Because I did the live stream with uh, Alyssiana Story. The first thing I did was a YouTube thing for Emma, and I finished all that. But it'd still be fun to keep playing it. I like playing it too. It'd be fun to just continue playing it, you know? Oh, man, really? bro machine gun arms please thank you I can't believe how much ammo I've gone through here <laughs> so much ammo this is insane more of a minigun than a machine gun. But you know what, technically, a minigun is still... Well... What is it? It's more like a light machine gun, or... Yeah, it's pretty much a light machine gun. I guess they don't count that way, because I played a lot of Cross... Cross Out? Cross Out's a lot of fun. I almost want to play that again sometime. Um, but it's technically... Technically not viable for me to go all the way over there and attack, so... Let's say that a minigun is technically a machine gun, or light machine gun, and just, it's just the way that the, the gun fires, you know? The barrels, the barrel rotates, you know, to, to cool it down faster, it has a faster rate of fire. Uh, let's put you up here. You know what? No, 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 no. If you're if you're getting hit, let's pull you back. Air support. I don't know if he's gonna move forward or move back or what he's gonna do. We are going to. I only did one. Oh, I don't have enough AP to do a full. Airstrike. Okay then. That's fine. I mean it isn't a machine pistol? Well. <laughs> oh, you see the barrels rotating. I basically got a minigun. I have a minigun slash missile launcher. It's called a vampire. Get a sugar stick shooting me. Let me show you my shotgun, bro. Broski. Boom! That was loud. Come on, man. Shooting through trees isn't that hard. Just hit the thing that's not a tree. That's all you gotta do, man. That's all you gotta do. Oh, he's a missile launcher, too. Look at that. We need to spread out so I can hit both of them at the same time. Damn it, this guy's evasive. 
All right, missiles. He's gonna he's gonna choke on some missiles here. I'm getting tired of this. How'd you like your missile sandwich, bro? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was thinking that too, bro. <laughs> I was like, you are not gonna dodge. You are not gonna dive around like a whatever right now. Airstrike. Do not enter zone, please. Yeah, we're gonna train wreck this guy like no tomorrow. This guy might even die before I can airstrike his ass. If he doesn't, the airstrike will totally take care of him. That'll be nice. A little bit of fire in his face. I know, I know, he's fire, but I just, I just want to do it like this because I'm feeling happy, you know? One arm down. Attack with 4%, sir! Should we do it? 4%? Why, that is an amazing number. I think we shall. How about 4% over here, sir? Oh, that's amazing. I think this will definitely work. Look at this! Yes! It will definitely work! Watch this 4% just BAM! Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> Could totally smash him right now, but we're gonna have a grand finale here. He is, uh, yeah. We're gonna have a grand finale. Salute! Good job, sir! Just carpet bomb that whole thing. I could have killed him before I even did it. <laughs> I just figured, you know what, I got this plane coming, I might as well be able to do something here. Otherwise it looks ridiculous like I didn't even get to do anything with him. I let Beck have his not Beck, but whatever his name is. The guy that's the plane plane driver. You know the airplane flyer guy? I don't remember his name. I keep forgetting his name. Whatever it is, he's a cool man now. He's cool. You know, he's cool. Oh, Wagner isn't here. Weird. I mean, he's the one that started this. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? The only place he could have gone is the assembly building. The only thing on his road. All right, let's save it up, and I think we're finishing the game tonight. How do you feel about this, Broke? Altasin, anybody else that's here, let me know. And if you have any suggestions for promotion games, please let me know uh, after we're done. Put in Discord and all that. I do have the Front Mission Gun Hazard game, and I do have Front Mission 5. I might mix it up with some Armored Core. 
played on Wednesday, so I might not do a full playthrough. I might surprise you as far as what I want to play. Uh, so I like to mix things up a little bit sometimes, so they are not... I know exactly what's going to happen. No, I don't want you to know exactly what's going to happen. I want you to be alive. Ah, I wonder what's going to happen today. So, I might do a little bit of surprising for the next uh, Vons or Vens days, you know? So, we'll see what happens next. It's either going to be Armored Core, the front one, first one, the fifth one, whatever. Might be some other games, you know? So... I don't think there's anything else. I don't think we can do anything else. There might be some simulators. Get ready fast. You got it. Come on, hurry. All right, let's roll. We don't stop them here. Everything we work for means nothing. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Are you all right, Elsa? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little nervous. Let's talk for a bit. <laughs> What's a little bit of talking? We're taking the Wanzers out. Make sure you're ready. Are you sure, Hermes? Are you sure, man? I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's time to settle our score. Bosh. The Tool Man. Taylor. Oh, wait. No, that's not. No, never mind. That's a totally different thing. Bosh Tools. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, hey, we see more than your average G.I. Giovanni, right? Too far. I cannot speak Italian. I am not Italian. Can I do that? That's why I named him Super Slami, so that he could support me with the whole Italian uh, thing there. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm just saying words. Let's see if they have a final thing I can equip. That'll be cool. <laughs> I don't know. What do they got? Do they have anything awesome here? Looks like it's all the same stuff I've had before. They might have a new gun, though. Now, what is this? I have to ask you before we jump into this. This, I think, from Front Mission 3, is the Whisk. I think this is the Whisk from Front Mission 3. A little spiky head, a little, you know, square boob, uh, rectangular, whatever that design is. I think this was the Whisk. And for this game, is the Whisk. So it's a U instead of a W, so they just literally just like, uh, let's just change the W to a U and we're good, I think. Make those front mission paper <laughs> and fly that on stream. You know what, I gotta do that, I totally, I was thinking about it and I must have got distracted with something, I totally forgot to do it. I should do that though. I've got a Bosch dishwasher, cool. I think it's a uh... no, 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 no. This is not Egyptian. This is not the Egyptian obelisks, which that's what they were. They were stone phalluses to say, "Hey, I've got a great penis," and that's why we have them all over the place. Uh, Rome has one. The Washington D.C. has one. Wherever you think there's a lot of power, there's a big dick, literally just pointed straight up in a stone statue, figuring. That's literally what it's saying. I've got the biggest phallus ever. And this is where the center is. That's the whole point of that. Anyways, um, I don't know if I can do anything more. Well, this does, you know, Blaza? Blazea? I could do that. Frost? Wait, that loses my. No, that doesn't. Oh, you know what? This would give me more power to do stuff. I think I should just so I can get some extra power out of this. I might be able to get another gun. Let's go ahead and do that. Weapons, right hand, cemetery. <laughs> cemetery 10, I get 8. Okay, Brooke, what do you think? What do you think, Alpha Sense? Should I change this up for this weapon? I get plus 90 damage. And I get eight clips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, done. <laughs> lose 32 clips. 32 clips. I lose 32 clips. Why in God's name would they make this shit? This makes no sense. 
I'm gonna run out of ammo before I even get started here. Oh my gosh. I do have a shotgun though. I do have a shotgun. Ugh. China is on its side. All windy and full of... <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh man. Do you mean that they have a life-term presidency, which is literally a monarchy? I understand that. <laughs> oh, this is the only one I can get. This is the only one I can get. Wait, can I get a better backpack? Did I... You know what? I don't know if I need the uh, jetpack, although it's fun. I might be able to use this somewhere. I don't know where, though. Ah... I wish I could do something about this. I, I'm losing 32 clips of ammo for plus 90. It's awesome damage, it's plus 90. But it's, it's shit for, for ammo to shoot eight shots. And if they dodge all eight shots, I lose all that opportunity. All of it, every, every little bit of it's gone. Just gone. Boom. Gone. Bye-bye. That's it. Uh, I'm just gonna upgrade the part. Right arm. Make it more accurate. That's some more hit points. What do I got? Plus 10? Plus 10? Plus... I need plus 10 or more. That's 18. That's 75. Nope. We'll just, we'll just do this. I get 75 extra hit points from my arm. That's cool. Now the Faust is a well instead of a tower. Okay. Ammo <laughs> Max in the backpack. Oh man, you know what? I do have the... I don't have the backpack for that. I've got the jetpack. Because I barely... This is the one rare thing in a game that you almost never equip or never think of equipping. And you could get a backpack to fly you up over on top of things. Which is kind of what I want for her. I want to have her positional so I can get her on top of things. You know? When you got your favorite woman on top of things, everything works well. You know, maybe I should rephrase that. Um, but when you get her on top of things, I get better accuracy, right? So, um, there was another jetpack right there. <laughs> Are you literally quoting that? <laughs> Elton's going to make a quote of that. Okay. <laughs> you got your favorite woman on top of things, then you're good to go. <laughs> I guess you can if you want to. <laughs> oh man, what did I get myself into? I say things that... I don't know. They happen. You know, things happen in the in life and in, and in the game, you know. Let me see... Okay, so I got Missile Plus. Let me try to get a... Okay, so there's Bazooka Ammo. Let's get Machine Gun Ammo Max. That is a plus one. We are going. We are going to try this. <laughs> Broke Bacula, This is a terrible idea, but we're going to try this. We're going to try this. Machine gun ammo max. She'll refill her when she runs out. This is a bad idea. Or this could be an amazing idea. I don't know, but we'll find out. Or never mind. <laughs> I can't even equip it anymore. I have too much weight. I'm sorry, man. I can't even do it. Ah, uh, I done screwed it up. I was gonna do it too. I was gonna put it on there. Cemetery ten is plus ninety damage. Now I don't even have the option to. Oh, that sucks. That would have been awesome. You know what? I can change the shotgun on the left hand to something not so great. 
or make it better. Weight minus 30. Right hand. There we go. Okay, so it's not minus eight. I could go, I could get better and more ammo with the uh, art assault. The art assault, the assault of arts, the assault of arts, the art assault. That's, that's uh, way better damage, more ammo, better overall. Unless I go here, which is actually way better. Mostro? Holy cow. We're gonna go Mostro. We're gonna go the mofo with the mostro. Perfect. Boom. Done. Done and done. Wait, do you need a better shotgun, bro? Grino? That is technically better. Plus 100 and whatever. Great. Right hand. Mostro. You got the mostro. The mofo with the mostro. Right hand. Leo stun. Up to whatever this is. You know what? You just need ammo, bro. And you also need accuracy, so let's do this. No! I can't do any of that. I could do the cemetery. He could be down to eight bullets. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's terrible. And I almost can do that, too. I can only do the cemetery for him for an upgrade. That is some shit. 20 shots. <sighs> Here's a better accuracy though. 80, 62. It's about the same, but it's really not. You know, you you just stay that way. You don't you don't change at all. Okay, we're good to go. We're good to go. We're good to go. I hope. I think. I pray and I believe. Right now, because it's important. Let's do it. Streamlabs, you're here. Thank you for making clips. Awesome. Uh, can you go back and make some really cool clips of some of the other things that I did? That'd be awesome, man. Thank you so much for being here, too. Uh, pilot setup. Let's upgrade some of this stuff. It's important. Because I have 122. 122. I got 122 points. I don't know what to do with. So let's... I can't even upgrade because I'm just too freaking good right now with these guys. 272 with this. Can't do much with that. <laughs> Just gonna move on. <laughs> Defend body? Sure. Chain plus? Sure. Chain dam... Yeah, just get him. Get all the things because he's totally done. Faint... One. You know, let's get a, uh, a basic accuracy boost. Boom. Done. That's way better. Link points are set. Dude, seriously, Altison. They are. Remember last time? I asked them if they would do something. Or asked you if you can do something. They did it. You can hit exclamation mark, space, type whatever you want, bro. And you will have the notification. I didn't set it to Wanzers this time, which I probably should have. But you can do the Thunderbolt sound every time you type anything. All you gotta do is hit exclamation mark. Next time I'll have the Wanzers set for Wednesdays. Today I just forgot. Just do exclamation, hit the space bar, type anything you want. And then it should leave an audible for you. <laughs> Take them out one at a time. No! No. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but no. Maybe, but no. I don't know. No upgrades by abilities. No abilities available. Make six done. Set links. Done. Attack links. Done. Abilities. Done. We're all done. We can finish the game. I could do more Sims. For funsies, if you guys want to, because I have them all now, I'm pretty sure this is it. But 
You could try that out later and save it. Try it for yourself. But I want to break this. I want to break down the end boss and we can move on to a new game next week. Which would be a lot of fun. We should do it. We should definitely do it. Mr. Chairman, if all I may speak, I have a very important announcement to make. Shut up, I don't care what you have- I mean, go ahead, Mr. Noland. You're aware that we have pressing matters to discuss. I will be brief, sir. Alright, you may speak. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Zafter smuggling of raw materials in the ECE. What? Do not waste our time, Noland. Our investigations found no evidence of any smuggling either to or from Zafter. I am not finished. Do not interrupt me. Uh, the resource base in Poland was destroyed by Zaftra, not the UCS. Zaftra's goal is to profit from exports of raw materials to the EC. Their plan was also included... Wait, I can't speak. Their plan also included the investigation of a war between the UCS and EC. This would allow Zaftra to increase its export profits exponentially. Say that five times fast. This plan required them to have cooperators inside the EC. Brigadier General Glazier and his Blower Nabel are those cooperators. Yeah, I think I said that right. Glazier is still missing, and there is no de decisive proof of his involvement in any of these events. We have found Glazier. He is currently in the British Army's custody. What? Where did you find him? In Zaftra. He was hiding in a garbage can. The British Army conducted a covert operation to take control of the Zaftra resource base at the end of the Vasa supply tunnel. That is where we found Leisure. He was leading the Zaftra troops guarding the base. You ordered the British Army to invade Zaftra without the consent of the Assembly? We had reason to believe he could recover proof of the Zaftra's plans from that base. We have found that proof, and it will be arriving here shortly. German. Were you cooperating with the Zafterns? No, I would never. Nolan must have fabricated this proof to justify his unauthorized attack on Zafra. Future investigation will reveal if the chairman was also involved in the conspiracy. But gentlemen, we have already lost far too many good EC soldiers in our prized resource base in this affair. We might have avoided the losses altogether had we listened to the Durandal. They were the first to discover Zafra's conspiracy, but we were unwilling to listen to them. And despite our lack of support, they bravely fought on our own, on their own, preventing a potential war between the EC and the UCS. And they are on their way here, right now, to fight their final battle. Final battle? What do you mean, Nolan? Transports carrying Zafter troops are headed this way. Their objective is to destroy this building and us, the EC Central Assembly. The Durandal is coming to stop them. What? Why would they want to kill us? Because reasons! What does that sound? The Zafters have come. Gentlemen, I have assigned British troops to defend the building, but I suggest you go underground. Shelter for your own safety. This cannot be happening! It's a nightmare! Ugh. Prime Minister! You must go to the shelter as well! No, I'm staying here. You must go, Allison. Prime Minister! If I were to leave now, I would betray the Durandal again. Staying here is the only way to prove my faith in them. It will not fail, Miss Allison. I know it. I trust the Durandal as well. I will stay here with you. Thank you, Miss Allison. You are a good friend. You're welcome, Prime Minister. That was a lot of talking. I'm tired. We shall have their heads. On top of that pole! <laughs> Going for <bum> Mowgli's. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I thought it was Zed and Allison, but maybe Mr. Nolan and Allison are now a thing? I have no idea. Maybe Allison is just... doesn't care. I don't, I don't know. We are not talking about that. We are talking about this. We have to stop these... It's, it's literally Russia is infiltrated, you see. So we're fighting the Russians here. The whole Russian conspiracy theory. Might be true here. 
<laughs> Although it's just Russian conspiracy theory was just deployed just to gain extra um, extra views on CNN. That's really what it was. And plus, Hillary was butt hurt over the fact that she lost and she wanted somebody to blame. She let it on forever and ever. And it never ended. I don't think it'll ever end. At some point it'll end. But just a ploy. Tactical political ploy, that's what it is. Why am I here? <laughs> it was her turn! Yeah, it was my turn! It was my turn! <laughs> I know. Oh god. That's literally what it is, though. Politics are literally a power struggle between two different sides, two different factions. You either faction of one, you faction of the left, or you faction of the right. You almost never get a chance to faction center. In other countries, you actually get opportunities to faction different ways, but here, it's one of the two, and that's all you get. I had followed my orders to the best of my abilities for the Zoftran plan to succeed. But now that the plan has failed, I should have no reason to keep fighting for Zaftra. I hate to do this to Wagner. He, he, this guy is a cool... This guy is really cool. Lukav? I love to destroy Lukav, but Wagner? This guy is a badass, and he's cool. I don't, like... I don't know. It is about Pharaoh. Why? To help my countrymen? It can't be. It is because you do care about your homeland, and you want to protect it. No, you are wrong. What else would have compelled you to come here? You are wrong! Enough. Fate has brought you before me once more, and for the last time, I finally have my wish. Let us end it once and for all. At least one British Army Bonzer must survive, so I actually have support. This is interesting. Look at this. I have to go all the freaking way back here. And one of them must survive, so I've got a tall tower, you tit, a uh, rifleman, a machine gun man, and a couple more of the same, it seems. You fell from the tall tower, you tit! But I was saved at the last moment. But what? I'll tell you. <laughs> it's rocket time, boys. Hopefully, maybe. We'll see. Ooh, that's nice and juicy. It's just two, though. I could get more. You know, I can get more ammo back by dropping, uh, dropping one of those thingies that I can drop. Let's do it. Yeah, it's literally all box control. That's all it is. There's no proof to prove any of that. Um, they did the same thing with Obama with the whole birth certificate thing, which you could argue is true, possibly, but the fact is there's... What are you going to do? Nothing happened, you know? We had the whole scare of Obama's not an American, he wasn't born here, you know, all that sort of stuff. It's just a tactical ploy, just to drag things on, just to make you obsessed with it forever. Just to go, oh, it's true! Yeah. And then you never think of anything else. You literally just get sucked up into this whole thing forever and... That's the point. They want your focus on them, so you think nothing else. You do nothing else with your life. You just think about that forever. 
and you die thinking about politics. That's all you, they all want you to do. Air support, airstrike. Um, I don't know if I should do this. I need to wait to see what's going to happen because then I can drop an airstrike and actually do something seriously good. Armor coating, though, let's see what we can do here. So you're going to get in here. Forward, range, missiles. Yep, missiles you might. Machine gun and melee. Okay, so now you don't. Range repairs. I'm guessing you got missile launchers over here. Nope, you actually have... Where is the missile launchers? What is the point of the radar guy? If you got no missiles. Literally, they have no missile launchers at all? That is crazy. It's got to be over here. No? Did I just pass it by? Oh, gosh. Wow. Um, hey, boy. What's up? Miss rockets. Missiles. Oh, geez. There it is. There it is. Those two right there. Okay. The biggest guys are the biggest guns. That's uh, what we got to worry about. Okay, so... Armor coating. Fire. The only good thing I got out of the <sighs> past few years is learning about who those around me. Learning who those around me are nuts. We let the politicians who never give a damn about them run their lives, especially when it comes to dating. Some people just like to be miserable, and that's what happens too. It's unfortunate too. So there's a lot of I dated some women that were hardcore left, some were hardcore right. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you, it is, it's insane. You can, you can lose your mind, um, easily with that. We're going to stack. I have to stack with this team, I really do. Um, you know, if you want to pick a side, that's fine. I'm just saying. But from what I've seen, it's literally a divide and conquer ta tactic. Which is what you do in games because it works. There's a lot of divide and conquer tactics that definitely work. And uh, I do this a lot because, oh, fuck, it works. <laughs> it works really well. So, divide and conquer, you can pretty much break down almost anything easily. No problem. And same, same stuff goes in politics. Same thing happens in politics. No difference. Nice little slow-mo for my guys. There's some fire. Fire droppings there. You really gotta know what you're, what's going on in politics. Half the time, it's so hard. It's, it's just so hard to figure out. Who's right, you know, because the fact is, like, what I try to do with politics, and I don't want to get into a 2D, but... Who has the best counter-argument? What you're saying is accurate, then what you're saying is accurate. That's basically it. In a nutshell. That's it. There's nothing more than that. I don't care what you want to side with, what you think is the better option. You know, technically, if you're going to go for religious aspects and things like that, you literally need to take religious aspects out of, a go of government, so things like abortion and stuff, have a corporation do that. You don't have to vote for it then. It's not a part of a voting system. Take that shit out. You know, things that uh, have that kind of aspect. Take that out of the system. You know, won't have to... You don't have to deal with it then. You know, people don't have to vote that way. You know, because like, I have to vote this way because of this religious belief I have. They don't have to then. It's not, a, it's not an issue. Make it a corporation uh, aspect. Make corporation fund that stuff. And then you donate to that corporation to support that cause. That's all you really have to do. As far as um, the whole two sides go, just look at the, the, the points and the counterpoints. The, the problem with what I have is I go so deep with things that... 
it's like, well, this side did this, said this, and this side said that, and then this side did this, and this side did that. Um, it gets, it gets tough to like watch the whole thing. I can, but then I literally would just be doing that all day. I'm gonna lose my mind doing it if I do that. I'm glad that we have the support options here. <laughs> Random smash ploy? I know, jeez. Wouldn't surprise me if there was an outsider trying to influence us into a civil war for us to come in and out. And that's the thing, too. Uh, corporate espionage actually is a big thing. Uh, corporations do. And I don't want to, you know, be too much, you know, some people say, like, oh, you're a, a downer Debbie or something like that. But the fact is, um, bad things happen. And not always you can really do a lot about it. But as far as tactics go, people are going to do dirty, dirty things to get a win. As far as corporations go, that's the reason why some people are in power, and that's the reason why the people who are in power are still very high influential in power is because everybody just gives them so much credit. They're like, oh, well, they're, you know, they look nice and they act nice and they're nice, you know, I don't really care to research anything and they're, just, they're all nice. And you give them all the power that way. You don't care. You just go, fuck it. I, I'm going to give them the power. Why not? Why do you think you like to watch this stuff? Strategy. Why do I do strategy all the time? Because I like to know. You know? If you want to know about politics? Guess what? People are playing their own political games against the other opponents all the time. Mental games. This is a mental game. They're playing mental games with you. They're trying to sort of stuff you in a box to make you think their way all the time. you got to come outside that box and actually look at it from uh, a realistic perspective so you can kind of see what's going on. If you don't do that, you're drinking a Kool-Aid all the time. You're just you're just like, oh, they said this so that it has to be true. No. Don't ever take anything for face value. Do your own research all the time. Never 100% believe everything you see or hear. You just, you're gonna you're, you're gonna die not knowing anything. You can die believing in what everybody tells you all the time for no reason. There's no point in that. Don't waste your life like that. Know the truth, find the truth, and uh, you'll understand a lot. Doesn't mean you have to be cynical all the time, but you know, definitely don't take everybody's word for it all the time. This isn't a reading rainbow special when it comes to politics. <laughs> you know, we gotta, gotta have some, gotta have some uh, gumption to go out there and find, find the answers. And that's all I gotta say about politics. You know, as far as which side's better, really just comes down to which one's telling the truth. As far as what I say, you know, which one's more accurate, which one's bullshit, and then really, you know, I go based on. I'll go. Preferably lately, if it would be a political thing, I'd almost prefer to find some middle ground independent thing that was um, not on either side, because we've been red and blue this whole time as far as America goes. We need a green, we need a purple, we need another color, we need some options. And you know the reason why it's mostly red and blue? It's easier to control. If there's more options, people that have power and influence don't know which way to set their money to because a lot of the things are basically monetarily valued as far as like who gets whoever has the most money is going to be able to make the uh, uh, political influence that's the reason why YouTube is spammed and I fucking hate it because it's around my birthday too it's just spammed with political nonsense left and right for months in advance until November, you know, whatever, and then, and then you gotta vote. So if I would suggest something and you really want to take my advice, I would suggest pushing for some good independent thing that is totally not funded by any corporation 
at all. Because when it's funded by corporations, guess what? It has the opportunity to be totally controlled because that corporation can be run by only monetary value based. That's it. And that's it. If you can find something that's literally just for the good of the people, you can actually push this back to, uh, you know, some good potential there. You know? Self investment is best, there's more motivation. I'm just saying as far as, you know, because everybody, like, there's a lot of people that ask for my political ideals and understandings of things, and uh, really all I gotta say is just look outside the box, find the information yourself, don't take everybody's word for it, it's not a Reading the Rainbow episode, uh, it's not gonna... <laughs> this is your story that you can make, and the fact is we're the people, so we're in charge. We always think they're in charge, but guess what? Those people that are higher up, they're our bitch. They have to do what we say. They have to. If we all say no, they have no power. So you literally just, all you gotta do is just stand up and be like, this is what I want because this has to change, you know? And there's a lot of corruption in the system, you know? And all you gotta do is find a way to you know, put some power to it. Make it happen. The Wright Brothers is proof of it. Invest in arms. <laughs> Others to fight wars. You know, the thing is, like, some people think there's, there's like, potential for, for that uh, in the future. And then, um, I don't know. I mean, there could be... There is some potential for a civil war in the future, but the thing is, the only way you can truly make uh, a real progress, you can always have civil war, but it ends up always being, for decades and decades and decades later on, the generations always stay the same. They always stay true to the South or the North, and they have that ideal uh, ideology that never dies, because they were in a war and they had to fight for this, and then they remember that to tell the story. Their children go on and be like, oh, I was a uh, part of this. You know, <clears throat> I looked up my history, my answers were part of the Civil War and a part of the Revolutionary War. And I'm military too. So, I've been in, like, you know, like as far as blood-wise, I've been in that. You know, I understand. But the fact is, you don't fully change everything unless you literally talk it all out to make it work. And you have to make it work with words. If you can't make it work with words, it kind of turns into that. But really, ultimately, you got to have it work with words. Because then, you can really make real progress. And if you can't, like, do that, which I think we can. I think we're at the point that we really can, politically-wise. But, it has to happen. You know? Miss! Great! I know this isn't really the most... Well, I'm not going to say it's not the most appropriate thing. I mean, we're fighting a battle right here to save Paris. To save, uh, you know, everything here. But the fact is... you got to really think about it. You know? What are you voting for? What are you doing? You just go by popular vote all the time? What everybody says, you're just at, you're just saying, hey, I'm a puppet too. Look at me. I'm a real boy. Literally what you're saying. Not trying to make a real difference. Probably should have went with a machine gun first, right? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, this is all I got left anyways. Might as well do this. A meritocracy. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, you, you earn based upon your merits. I can I could see that. You know, that's the reason why we argue and fight all the time. Most of the time. It's because of things like that. Ooh, top clip. Hey, thanks, Streamlabs. Thanks for the clip. <laughs> Made sure it was there. <laughs> awesome. State 20. Uh, you know, he is... We need to kill something here. We can't have them running away all, all the freaking day long. All day long. You're not going anywhere, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. We'll have to drop a supply drop. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Oh gosh. Airstrike. This is where it's coming. Oh my gosh. That shit is really powerful. Can I please shoot through the trees? This is a big target, please. He's a gigantic target. Really? Dude's a gigantic target. I can't even shoot through the trees. Bosh is a dead man. Block damage 50, please. And it didn't matter. Bye, Bosh. I'm so glad I have that repair thing. <laughs> Full repair! Boom! Platinum! Stamp it! <laughs> oh, man. I'm totally surrounded in here. This is really tough. Can you stop that, please, guys? Please? Guys? Guys? Please? Anybody? Anybody. I don't care who. I just I just wanna make some progress here. I'm gonna land some uh whew, aerosol going down here. This team is just gonna stay by itself. Just totally by itself and just melt everybody that's here because I, I don't have anything else I can do with them. I <laughs> said boom, everything breaks. I know. Don't have to say that shit. <laughs> Now they're getting concerned. They're like, you know what? We can't just sit around here. We have to go after them. We have to go after them. It's it's a it's a no-brainer now. Where's my repair bot? Oh, you know what? Um, has ideas. I like this. Altison, I like this. Anti skill. Can you see what I'm gonna do, Altison? Everybody else is here? Can you can you see? If you can't see, I'll tell you in a second, but tell me if you notice what I am going to do.
take care of this rifle guy. If we can hit him. <laughs> That'd be nice if we could him. No! Don't kill me, bro! <laughs> I have a good uh, angle there. I really thought I had a good angle there. I seriously swear. There we go. Not so perfect shot. I know. I should say that should be a skill. Not so perfect shot. <laughs> Not so perfect shot. Right now, attack. Attack them. They hurt me. Well, he can move back one space. So... So... Galabados to Labados over yonder on all said people. They shall all hurt mightily, mightily bad. Good night. Good night, sir. My ultimate destruction plan, hopefully, will come to fruition here tonight. And we will lob this all in his face for him to feel really, really bad. Right there, dude. Please. Do not move a muscle. Block 50. Perfect. We'll survive. <laughs> for a while. <laughs> we'll survive for a while. No counter, please. No counter. No counter. Oh boy. I can take care of these guys. I, I just have to have one Brit survive. That's it. <sighs> we have to knock around this dude. Get him! Go sick him! Sick him, boys! He's gonna need a lot of TLC to take him out. This dude's got a lot of HP. I couldn't even get a backfire shot. I have no gun. I should have repaired that. I didn't even... Oh, okay, well... <laughs> oh, okay, broke. Thanks for hanging out, man. Good hit. Gave me a good shot. Perfect. 
perfect shot. Oh, it's so close. Oh my gosh. That is so close. Okay, we got one down. I think we got two down. I think we got two. Yeah, we got two down. Good, good. Two headshots. Three headshots, please. Yeah, if we get all headshots, it'd be over and done. You guys are all toast. I'm telling you right now. Broke, wait for the magic moment. Just one second, you're going to see this clown go down. Unless you really got to go, but... This guy's going to be toast in like one turn. Maybe. I, I might have to put a little bit into him. Yeah. Let's put a little bit more into him here. Sad day. He didn't die? Inconceivable! <laughs> no, oh, Bosh! No, not Bosh! Oh, Bosh! Oh, geez, that's it. Rapid Fire 3, Block 50? Oh, thank God. 80! What? He's 84? Damage? Wow. This dude needs to lose some arms. He, he broke my arms. What if he breaks Bosh again, I'll actually get to have him back. Be nice. Bosh is basically dead in the water, unless I can get him out there. Oh boy. Firebird, 81. Good. Whoa. Good! Headshot. I like that. You guys wait right there. Wow. This guy's almost completely toast, but Bosh is the dead man. Really. Literally. Bosh needs to move out of the way. Okay, 18% to my 22. I've got a lot of guys hitting him. She's going first. That's not bad. Latona. Hermes! Hermes did it! Hermes did it! Boom! Down! No, I cannot. Sorry, Wagner. You need to have... You freaking survive. I need to get you the hell out of the way, man. 
Oh man. Airstrike. Oh crap. Legs gone, good. Seventy three per cent. Rapid fire two. Man, I wish it would work. Our machine gun, radar guy. Good night. You can go right ahead if you want to, man. Got fire. Uh, he's kind of dead. can get these guys to survive. Okay. That might totally kill him. And I might not have to worry about all that. make sure we'll just do that <laughs> that'll work too <laughs> okay 
Okay. Okay, took care of some of the major threats here. I don't have to worry about the back line too much. That should be fine. Nice job. All right, I'm going to take a small break. I'll be back once they're done doing whatever they're going to do. Whatever they're gonna do! Just probably nothing. Bring out, get it! It's fine if they're coming after me over here. I just don't need them coming after my other guys that are in dire straits right now. Oh, Alright, gotta take care of the repair guy. He needs to go. No more repairs. That's gotta stop.
Now I can set a position here a little bit better. You know what? <laughs> yes. Oh, I didn't think about that for the longest time, but I need to be up I need to be upstairs somewhere. I bought those, I bought that jetpack for a reason, so I'm using it. Duck is gonna be on their merry way here. Firebird. Please don't die, sniper bro. I need you, man. Oh! Not bad, not bad. Uh oh, there's the radar stuff. We gotta take out this guy. To do something about that. I'm kind of happy they're all coming for me, though. I'd rather have them do that than, what, you know. <laughs> Three sticks and no scope, no shot, no hit, nothing. Goodbye. Good night. Try to take this guy out fast. If we can, it'd be nice, you know. Um, what can I hide behind? Good shot, man. Good shot.
There we go. Maestro. Maestro, set up the music, please. And a good salute to you, sirs. You did a good job of battling. But... All for naught. Because I have to... I have no time for losses right now. We kill this uh this team here. We kill this team, which it's possible you might get some shots, but I can even make it. Oh man. This map is endless too. Got two snipers left and that's all I have against this one dude that's full health. Just demolished most of my stuff. I have no repair kits here. I literally have to run. I cannot handle, and I, I can't really run that way. I, I, I don't know if I can do this really right now. I'm gonna have to run back, way the hell over here. That's all I can think of. I'm gonna have to rush, save this guy. Possible to do, I'm gonna have to do it. That's the edge of the map. I can't go back any further. Oh, shit. I can't survive this. Well, that's some shit. I have to rush him. make a distraction. I 
I literally can't move anywhere. I, I seriously thought I could go around the backside here. Fucking A. Not fair at all. distraction right now. Kidding? That went all the way around the building and hit him like that? That's some shit. Oh, that is some shit. That is not accurate. It hit the co that just flew around the corner of the building like, nah, not gonna hit me. Whatever. Systems down. This guy should not have those kinds of skills. Come on, block damage 50, fuck you. You're in a giant fucking Wanzer, how can you even block damage a 50 at all? You should even have a skill like that. This is completely not fair. Both of those. I, I don't know if I can win this because they literally killed everybody. There's nobody left. And this dude has radar range. I can't get to this guy because I have to sit back there all the goddamn day doing nothing. Literally no damage at all. Okay, it's not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. It can't happen. I gotta run away. I cannot... I, I gotta have one British guy survive. For whatever reason that is, I don't even know, but I have to have one of them survive. Which makes no sense because I shouldn't have to worry about that, but apparently I do. He should not have block 50. He should not have any skills at all. At all. None. It's a 
gigantic. There's no way you could miss that thing at all. 95, please. Get ahead here. Would you stop hitting with the thing you got? Please. Come on, really? if this even does happen, which I just don't think it's going to. Well, it's end because that's permanent, apparently. is massive. Sorry, everybody. Not gonna win this one. Sixty no scope, slow down, come on, man. Goodbye. More of that crap, please. Shot hit? No way. <laughs> oh, he's going for Elsa now. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, he's not hitting the other the other one. I gotta get the other ones are out of there. Can you please come out of status affliction down, please? That'd be nice. Fantastic if you could. Apparently it's permanent, so that blows. I need to get some ammo. I really do. Here, 
let's get uh, a bad angle. 90% to 63. I hope to God I can get a good shot here. There we go. If we win this, it's literally the skin of my teeth. That's that's seriously what it is. I gotta get him out of there. legs please damn it come on man this up. She's going to have to literally solo this guy. Please, man, a miracle shot. That's all I'm asking for. One nice miracle shot. I can get something going here. Hermes? Okay. Wow, legs are almost shot. Dude, would you get out of the status down affliction, please? This shit is taking forever. It's been like four turns. Yes, thank you. I need that to be gone. Thank God it's done. That took forever. Alright, I need my Raider Man to be... where? No. Let's go restock with bullets first. Prepare myself. This is like do or die right now. Literally. Five percent chance to hit me here.
these two things are just so beastly. Need one good shot, man. Just one good shot. That's all I want. Can you not go first? Oh, wow. You broke the legs? The legs. I might be saved. I might be saved. Except for there's a damn repairman in the corner here that's probably just gonna jump out and be like, yeah! Oh, wait. No, it's not a repairman. It's, uh, okay. That's not so bad. Um, I gotta repair him when I get there. Where, where's Hermes, though? So he's not close enough. Get out of here. Is this far enough? Yes, it's far enough. I might as well take some pot shots here. He can't get to me fast enough, and I can take some easy shots from here. I might be able to kill him before he can really do anything, which would be great. I really want to return fire, but my right arm is almost broken. I need to get a good position to be able to do that. bank on getting lucky here actually <laughs> god you gotta do that every time don't you and here comes the repairman he's gonna basically kill my game right now because I can't do anything about him I, I can't even get to him in time way too fucking far away this is insane the distance I have to travel yeah he's going for them that's, that's exactly where he's going God for that. I put up all those systems down and I'm still getting screwed with that. Can I get a percentage that, is, that doesn't suck? What the fuck is up with this block 50? You're in a gigantic fucking wanzer. You shouldn't be able to block anything. That is ridiculously stupid. That is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. How can you miss that? Seriously. No sense. Like, literally none. Like, I can't, I don't have words for the stupidity that that is. That makes absolutely no sense at all. Like, zero. Totally zero. It's a skill, sure, it's a skill, but the thing is so fucking big. It's so big. Be able to shoot him down before he gets here. He 
He's only moving one at a time. all the time. If they did it once in a blue moon, it'd be okay, but they do it like every single time. Sixty. They got just amazing damage they can do. And he's going for the guy that I I can't even save. I, Hermes is way too fucking far away. This guy is. He's got two guns, he's got three clips left, and this gun, he still probably has a lot of clips left in the other one. I can't keep everybody healed up at all. I cannot do it. It's not possible. I gotta get close enough to heal up the other guy so he doesn't get broken. gets a shot every time. So, but it's just not looking good. It's really not. He can't get to me very quickly. This one can. Let's hit this one up. I have to play two bar two bits against the metal here. every time with that freaking double cannon, holy shit. Please. Shot. 
please do something amazing, dude. Can you not be systems down for like all day? His legs... No, his legs aren't broken, though. Okay, I could try to save him. If I can, it'd be nice. I wish I had a way to repair myself right now. Okay, I'll just end here, because that's going to take a thousand turns to get back to normal. shot on him, although I don't with him. Let's, uh, let's take the freebie here. Take the freebie, block damage 50! Yay! Get to save himself another day. Perfect. I want to get forward so I can start making, uh, some ranged attacks work. So I need to save this guy in the back here somehow. He's got to take, he's got to stay Totally safe. I'm gonna hit this guy and the other guy with everything we got. Everything. His legs have to be broken, everything has to be broken. Legs are gone. Legs are gone. That's what I want to see. Better not. Right arm is vampire arm. Left arm is shield. If you hit my right arm, you can kill me. You break my arm, and then I, I don't have my missile launcher anyways. Okay. Did it anyways. Can we be done with the whole thing? No? Please? Oh shit. Move really far, can't he? This is insane. You guys hit me with everything, every time. I gotta kill one of you best. Now. Zeman has got to go. Can we stop, please? Just get me out of that. Why does it have to take five turns to come back to normal? That is ridiculously too long. Slate. Hit the slate. Perfect strike. Thank you.
I should be able to get like absolute hits with this. That's not right. Finish him off, please. It's ridiculous. This is taking forever. might work but this is uh yeah why not put him down again whatever he's gonna be totally out of commission the whole rest of the battle i can't do anything about it either slate eat it rapid fire two boom Boom. Last stand. Oh, <laughs> dude, did last stand. No way. No way. Just sit there, man. We can't do anything about you. Boost you. Boom. Stay safe. I have to save you. I cannot believe you actually survived that. Oh, Altison. I know their skills, but jeez. Oh, that is stressful. That was seriously stressful. Holy cow. He's gonna die. Maybe he won't die. I don't know. We'll see. This is the final battle. This is the first time that I actually used the, um, the rebirth skill. You know, because of, uh, you know, all the things. Um, I'm gonna shotgun you to death.
we get the chance, we're gonna go that way. Or the Bazooka Joe will do its job. That's that's cool too. Zed is gonna die just because of this. I cannot save him. I had to leave Zed behind for this in order to work. I had to do it like this. Uh, slate. The old drawing board. Block damage is defeated. Come on, man. Really? That's stupid. Boost two with two cannon shots. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay, everybody, we might actually survive this and win. I know that's gonna. For all the uh, masochists out there, that's gonna make you feel like, aww. Aww. I came here to watch you lose. Well, I'm sorry. But, you know, point, play the game. To play the game, you have to try to win. Yeah. But, masochists be damned, you have to do this. I'm going to win. I don't care what you think or say. I have to do it. It's sad how many masochists there are out there, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Armor coating. Ah, impact? Gonna save our bro a little bit. Here too. to save him for a little while. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Vampire machine gun. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, back. Oh, not back. Poor back. <laughs> Maybe I went a little too easy on him, eh? And he has the support thing, he can't come back. Oh, I almost went flawless there. I still want to stand for Platinum just for funsies. Now I've got impact, so you can't hurt me so badly, can you? It's a race to the finish line. Whoever can kill this other little guy fast enough will be the winner. Poor back. I was gonna shoot a Latona, then I could bring her back that way, but it didn't happen, everybody. Sorry, just didn't happen that way. Oh, the masochists out there will be happy though. Somebody died on my team. There are a lot of them out there. Trust me. People come to see destruction, and when they don't see destruction, they're like, yeah, I'm out! I'm out! <laughs> There's been plenty of people watching me play games that as soon as I start, you know, I don't, I don't totally die. They're like, ah, fuck. You didn't die? I'm leaving. <laughs> it's happened plenty of times. Thanks everybody for hanging out with me. As long as you have, I know it's late. You have to finish this up. We'll actually see the ending though. I get to move. Wait, do I have items to repair myself? Mini Repair Max. Not too badly, though. Know. I do have my Greeno. Should work. When I need it, I will use it. He might save himself. Who knows? We'll see.
Perfect! I have just enough range for this. I saved one British soldier. I could not save the others. I played this game a few times in the past. Um, I don't remember how many times, but a number of times. Enough. I never got this close to defeat with the British soldiers. Usually, they hold their own, they hold the back end, they kill off everything that comes to them, because I just, like, focus on that side. And left or right side, to me, I'm, I'm not sure if that really matters. It might, but... Never got that close before. That was almost lo totally losing the game right there. Just, just because. Just because, that's it. That's crazy. That was pretty risky, but it worked out. It worked out. Bazooka Joe in the face. That's right. Seven points for that. Or six, what is it? Yeah, it's six. Sorry, Altasen, this is definitely a late night, but we are going to get to see the ending tonight, I hope. This is the final fight, which I think it is, and we should be alright, but... You know, we'll see. He has one... This guy, this sniper has one bullet left. Let's, let's restock him if we can. So we can actually get to play a little bit. If that's even possible, which I'm not sure it is. Just come forward and uh, die. That's cool. Fire two. Boom! I hit you in the back, really? Okay. Okay, I guess that did happen there. Hermes, you wanna finish this off, bro? So close. Matona will do it, I think. No way! It was... It was Bosch. Wow. Oh my gosh. I need to get a refill. I'll be right back. I want to stab a platinum! Just because I had to save some other dudes, if I didn't have to save anybody, it'd be a whole different story. I don't know what you think, Altsin, but I want to stamp a platinum here. I know there's a lot of maintenance, but I had to save a bunch of dudes, and that's all random stuff. I can't. Yeah, I can control some of their attacks, but I really can't do a lot beyond that. I'm gonna. I'll be right back, and we'll watch the ending. Okay. Uh, a couple guys. Oh boy.
Sorry, Wagner. There are not any Zaftron troops left. I'm sorry. I see. I... I could not advance against you. I... don't understand. Why? Uh, I, uh, Bruno Diaz, governor of UCS State of Venezuela, would like to rescind the Declaration of Independence for this state I had made earlier this month. Uh, following this, I would like to, uh, resign from my post as governor, taking full responsibility for the current state of affairs within this state. Uh, I appoint the Venezuelan Freedom Party as leader of the provisionary government following my resignation. Uh... The Venezuelan Freedom Party wishes to end all fighting within Venezuela and to begin peace talks with the UCS central government. And uh, they also promise to conduct a fair election for the new Venezuelan governor in the near future. And we're off the air. You did it, Louis. Yes. Louis, I... I should forgive him, Louis. He's still young. I know, Elmo. I'm glad you're safe. I'm sorry, Lewis. I'm sorry. Colonel Donalds, our troops have surrounded Caracas. We are ready to move in on your order. Good. Tell the troops to move forward. Belay that order. This operation has been cancelled, Colonel. What? Who the hell are you? I am the U I'm with UCS Intelligence. I've been granted the authority to terminate all military operations in the state. Intelligence? I will not allow a mere spy to stop me. You have to file any protest you may have to the UCS central government. You've seen Diaz's announcement on TV, haven't you? The Venezuelan Freedom Party is asking to conduct peaceful negotiations with the central government. If you attack them now, you will destroy the UCS's relations with the rest of the world. They will consider us to be an imperialistic nation bent on military conquest. <sighs> Colonel. I can't believe it. We finally get reinforcements from the Atlantic, and we have to begin peace talks before one shot is fired. Fine. Call the troops back, Major. Tell them to stand down. Thank you for the cooperation, Colonel Downs. Alright, better get going. Where are you going, Daryl? No one's chasing you anymore. We have to get all the evidence we took from the Zaftran base back to Elsa. I wish we had someone arrange a plane for you at the airport. No, Louis, civilian planes, there could still be Zafters out there waiting to take a shot at us. We'll try to get to the transport that Elsa sent us. We have less than an hour until the rendezvous. How long will it take for us to get to the Takuma from here? It'll take two hours, even by plane. You would never be able to make it on time. Don't worry, I have an idea. I think I remember this idea. Yes. You can't be serious, Daryl. Oh, I am, Rangas. I am. The cargo rail? Of course. It'll take less than 30 minutes for one of these to reach Kamano. How fast does it go? Its maximum is 350 kilometers. That's around 220 miles per hour, right? That's not so fast. The problem is it gets to that speed in less than 20 seconds. It also breaks to zero kilometers in the same amount of time. <laughs> Uh, what's that mean? 
means you'll be under an incredible amount of G's both when it starts and when it stops. It may be even worse than a catapult on an aircraft launcher carrier. Passing out will be the least of our concerns. The Zafrans use this thing to come to Caracas. We should be able to handle it too. Yeah, but they're crazy. Okay, I don't know if this is the end. <laughs> I want to say it is, but I don't know. Uh, it could be a famine thing here. No, I, I must have missed it or something. Okay, let's save it up. Oh, wait, no, I don't want that slot one. I wonder if there's anything new. <laughs> I said this is the very end of the game, but there might be something more. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Don't see anything different. I don't see anything different. Let's just, let's, you know, see the end of the game here, apparently. So, Lewis, I guess this is goodbye. No, I'll go with you to Kumana. Huh? Why? Those afters may attack you along the way. I will never forgive myself if you do not make it. But, Lewis. Lewis goes, I go. Sounds like it's going to be a fun ride. What are you looking at, Lewis? I'm not getting on that thing. Are you afraid, Thamon? Of course I am. I'm an old man. Who knows how many bones I'd break if I rode that thing? Nah, you'll be all right. You're built tougher than the rest. Come on, let's go. Wait, don't push me. I said I don't want to. Hey, I'll get you for this. Okay. <laughs> Don't talk, or you'll bite your top. <laughs> oh, please, Lord, make it stop. I got a sound bite that one. <laughs> oh, please, Lord, make it stop. Is that you, Mom? <laughs> yeah, only acceleration turns are bad, yeah. Oh, fooey, I, I thought I'd thought I'd have a stroke. Really is not for people to ride. <laughs> Favor. Yeah, I know, I'm getting off, don't push. This is the Randall Transport. Daryl, come in. Daryl. Yeah, give me that. Daryl here. What in the name of... What happened to you? Nothing. Don't mind us. I'm almost at the rendezvous point. What's your position? Not far. We just got to Kamana. I made it on time. Hey, what the... What's that thing doing here? Huh? What's up? There's a mobile weapon in the harbor. Wants us too. Zafrans. Just land at the rendezvous point. We'll take care of them. All right, but this transport won't last long if they start shooting at me. Zafrans again. Man. They know when to quit. I had enough. We're gonna take them out. Huh? We fought them this far. Let's drive them out of Venezuela. Hey, Chafer. Chafer is right. Let's finish what we started. Jeez, okay. Right now, anything's better than riding on a cargo rail again. Thamon three times. Okay. I don't know if this is it. Didn't work. Didn't work, Sasha. I don't know. Maybe I missed it somewhere. I'm not sure. Seems there's more. Yep, there's one final battle. I'm pretty sure this is the final, final, final battle. The last time we played Front Mission 3, there were there were two final battles. This one was three. 
apparently there is. I don't think there's gonna be anything new. I just wanna check the simulator. It's probably, yeah, one out of 10. I got all the sims, but I'm just gonna save it up and just go. I think we got everything set, you know? Yeah, nothing compared with hitting, uh, blah, blah, bazooka shots, bazooka shots. That is hard. That is hard. I, that that last battle, I almost bought the farm. Because you're supposed to save one British soldier, and I saved one. Someone tell me what the hell that is. Why do they have to make everything so damn big? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. It's you! When I saw that transport, I knew you'd be coming! Ah, she's still alive! Still alive? Still alive, Betty? It's, it's still alive! Oh, for heaven's sakes, doesn't she know when to quit? Doesn't look like it. I have to tell you, I'm really glad you came all this way just to find me. I was gonna ask you out, but now, I don't know now. You look a little crazy. I'm sorry, Colonel. We need a little more time to charge our weapons. Crazy. I'm surrounded by incompetence. Just hurry it up. I don't have all day. A little too much crazy. This is our last battle, yes? This will put an end to everything, right? Yeah. If they don't put an end to us first. There's the transport. They'll just shoot us out of the sky if we get on it now. We have to take this after it's out. Are you ready? Yes. You can count on me. I don't know, Thamon. You got that crazy look in your eye. It's, it's right there. I can see it. He's got that, well, you know, crazy look in his eye. Maybe we can. All right, here goes nothing. Let's do this. Final battle awaits. Do I get extra guys here? I hope. No, I don't get the extra guys. Hold on, what was that? What did that say? Random transport must not fall the uh, fall below a two thousand two thousand. Oh man, how the heck am I gonna do that? It's at eight thousand. Well, if I don't do it tonight, then we'll have to do it. Looks like. We're gonna have to take her out. How did I do this? Okay, so radar guy is there. I think I went in bass. I just took it out every which way I could. You know what? I'm thinking they're probably gonna come after me. They're probably gonna all swarm me, so. Look at the best. <laughs> this coverage is so freaking huge. I love it. I love it. I love it.
Those were, dude, that was a SBD bullet right there. Did you hear that? I mean, did you not hear that? The boss unit? Ah, she's way in a corner. She's in the water. That big red square that's in the water there. Middle, left. Middle, uh, western position from where I'm standing. Well, if this is the water, this is the port. This is probably... That's probably north, so she's north... East. She's northeast of me. Ninety-one. Okay, I gotta know how I'm even possibly gonna hit the tiny little wall here. Whatever. Just, just do it. That is insane. I love it. <laughs> Would you? St oh, jeez! I gotta. I gotta have her do grenades because otherwise she's gonna be shooting bazookas all the time, and she doesn't have the accuracy bonus. She doesn't have an arm for that. A pit war. I mean, her arm is set for some accuracy, but I don't know how good that is. It doesn't seem to be very good though. I'm gonna have to lop off a lot of more grenades than, than bazooka joes right now. We're gonna have to do it like that. Circular. Shoot him. Boom, done. I'm gonna be I'm gonna have to be very careful about this because this sucks. I have no supply drops. Oh, no supply drops at all. Come on, please. Sayonara, dude. there it's right above me it's uh the north she's right there so i think we're gonna get the daylight here uh let's drop some uh nades here real fast You know what? Um, Spread out a little bit. We need to get some uh, range stuff going. Gotta hit the rain. We gotta hit the missile. We gotta hit the uh, radar guy. It's not doing a lot of damage, but I know. She's there. She is there, and she's always been there. Let's see. This isn't ideal, but I don't really have a lot of options with the positioning that I have right here. Shit, armor 
coating here. This is literally going to eat all my bullets up. Why is it 85? It's that should not block anything. Literally. Please stop, John. I, I have no, I, I have no way to get extra ammo here. Besides what I came with off my back, I, I have no other way of getting it. And I have no other guys. I, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this. You dodge everything under the sun. I cannot do this. Thing is, I cannot just run out of ammo. I got I gotta be able to kill this guy. Come on, come the fuck on, dude. I cannot kill you. I cannot win the game without a supply drop of some kind. I'm constantly dodging every which way possible. It's just not going to work. I cannot do it.
kein Sagenskarten. Come on, really? Well, I can't get out of this until I kill off the radar, dude. I didn't kill him with that. Die. Focus up. Goodbye. Yeah, she might stay in the water the whole time. Okay, so I do have to get there to save it. Literally just go forward here until I get it to be good. Damned or dude. Damned or Daryl. Damned or Daryl. Print parts, all parts. Sounds good. You're out. I don't think I can hit both of these guys here. Can be a Bazooka Joe character for a little while. I'm gonna have to slowly move away. So I can use the transport. I think that's the best call. I think that's the best thing I can do, you know? I can't evade all day. That's that's literally gonna be that's gonna be really bad for me. Seriously bad. I'm gonna get there to pair him up right now. She missed. Dude, she missed! No way! She missed. She missed. Not bad. Okay, I'll be able to do this then. Uh, let's get... Let's pull back here. We're gonna start working on this dude here instead. Just gonna pull back slowly but surely and then... Whatever is killed, we'll be able to move on from there. Like you're gone, nice. Boom! Boom! Down! Down for the count. Good.
98% focus up which means I'll hit the no not anymore I thought I was gonna hit the leads with that one <laughs> oh. what are you doing oh, God's name what are you doing what are you doing woman holy cow Wow, dude, you were completely always out of ammo. Whenever I need somebody to be out of ammo, you were the guy. You were the man, man. Totally the man. Boom! 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 Goodbye. Okay, we took care of that problem. Let's go deal with the other problem down here. Got any items? Mini repair max. I could do... Repair 200 to legs. Looks, yes, that's, that's good. That's really good. She's a glorified missile launcher? Probably, yeah. Uh, she's probably better off being that. Ooh, she hit it. 300 points of damage. I'd almost rather her shoot a missile. She hits that twice with 300 points of damage. That is a bad, bad thing for me. Repair, mini repair max. Repair max. Machine gun ammo. What is my machine gun status? Twenty-two out of what? I don't know. Well, <laughs> just move forward anyways. Paramax. I'm literally going to be using every item and everything that I have in order to do this. Minotaur! Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah! <laughs> what are you anti-fire? Ah, shit. You're anti-fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I pissed him off. I know I did now. They won't like me now, I'm just saying. We got pair 200, let's do... Let's do legs. That's good, might as well do something while I'm just sitting around, you know. These guys will be tracing me for a little while, but it'll take them some time to actually get here. So during that time, I'll literally just walk by them. Hopefully. Need to get there so I can repair up the transport as much as possible, as fast as possible. Oh, you didn't, you did you? Please don't do that. Three forty-two. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Okay, so I'm literally just trying to bypass this whole thing here. Get some items. Machine gun ammo. Okay, so machine gun ammo I have fully loaded. That's not bad. Circular saw. Good. Bus saw. Let's get through this. This is a pretty cool battle. I'm just gonna literally be snaking around trying to avoid, you know, the machine gun guy trying to kill this, you know, the uh the uh, woman of women's focus up while I'm getting around there we'll pair him up defend body that's fine with me no oh man she, 
She needs to go right now so I can actually use uh, some of those skills. I need to use a grenade right now. She doesn't have enough. Gray's eye, please. Double shot one, please work, please work. Ah! Oh, it didn't work. Almost. Okay, we need a repair on deck one. Actually, right over here is good. So much miss. I know, man. I know. Remember the beginning of the game, the beginning of the playthrough here? Remember that? I missed with all those 90 something percentages. I was like, Are you serious? You really want me to miss that many times? I, I don't even understand how it's even possible, but I did. How many clips did you make of that? It must have been like five or six clips of been missing 99% of the time with my sniper dude. It was insane. Repair 200. Thousand grenade ammo. What is my stats? I can't even tell. Let's just go back here. Nope, actually, let's go right here. We'll figure it out after that. Wait, where am I going anyways? Straight forward? Actually, yeah, I'm going straight forward. Why am I going over here? Oh, I thought there was a bridge there. I thought this... Oh, damn it. Okay, well... You live and you learn. I lost two spaces of time. Maybe I'll get it back. Could be a bad idea, but the back side. I gotta get uh, Chafer down there. He's gotta repair all that stuff. Thank God, it's not working. Oh. Take him out. Like you're gone? Should die. Boom! Good night. Good night. Nice. 42. Let's start this up. Full defense. Huzzah. I love it. Not really. Shot too. She can't evade that. She's way too big <laughs> to evade that. Oh man.
Well, I could restock this, but no, I can do that. Stop hitting the transport, please. No hands, Ma! Oh shit, wow. He's right next to him, too. Half move. Items. Mini repair max. Repair max. Bye. Oh, I need that. What are we gonna do here? She's anti fire. Let's focus her down. That's all I got. Extremely overbalanced rocket launcher bazooka arm. Boom! <laughs> Overweighted, I mean, but you know what I mean. this guy. Not Lewis! No! Not Lewis Black! Oh, sorry, Lewis. I have to get you the hell out of there. Pretty quickly, too. I'll be back. Or I'll just... I'll be here. I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna finish this off, you know? Finish this off. And then tomorrow is going to be some brigandine boss mod. So that'll be cool. Good night. a grave right now just to save some ammo I am losing a lot of ammo right now she has so much HP so much I only have a repair. I have no rifle bullet. Ex I have no extra rifle bullets. 
Did I use that last time and I didn't even realize it? Oh no. Wow. Yeah, this is why I kind of need that, uh... I kind of want to need supply drops for this. It's very vital that I actually get that. Damn it. Machine gun ammo and 20 mini repair packs. Can't do much with that. Why is that 45? That should be Seven. Good. Here we go. <laughs> Rifle ammo max. That's what I need. Perfect, there we go. And I gotta deal with these guys too somehow. Thamma needs a lot of love right now though. Needs all of our love. Is gone. Minus shot two. She's under halfway, but that's still a lot to work on. That's a lot to work on. I need to get over here quick ASAP. What do you think, Alpha Sin? Are we gonna get a flawless here? I, I really hope so. Really, really hope so. Alright, Thamon, you need to get the hell out of the way. Items, mini repair max. Oh no, I want to do legs! Oh, what did I do that for? Get the heck over here, bro. 47. You know what? Since uh, you, you're pretty good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get you all the way over here, actually. I need six. I just don't get why that's zeroed out. It makes no sense. I think it's sticking up. I, I think when they made the game, they didn't, like, accurately, uh... 
determine. Okay, well, she's anti fire, so she should stay back anyways. She'll get hit instead, and that's okay because she's, she's anti fire, so it's okay for her. Yes, that's totally okay. I mean, it's not. I don't want her to get hit, but she's anti fire, and she's got a lot of. A lot of uh, armor. They really do want to knock down Famine, though. They might get to, but I don't know. We'll see. I need to get there ASAP and repair that. Kill something here. Um, I'm gonna play D for a bit. Just gonna play D for a little bit. That should do it. Good. Okay. Don't hit any of my guys. I, I know. I don't know. Not the most ideal, but I, I will hit this guy. I will distract him a little bit. I might take him off the case. We'll see. Rocket ammo too. Um, you know what? Let's give her some more. Yeah, I'm gonna play D for a little bit, but that's okay. I gotta knock out this sniper dude. She's gonna come back and sort of Bazooka Joe <laughs> help out. I have to get there very quickly, otherwise that thing's gonna take too much damage. And then I could lose because of it. I, I don't want to, but it's possible I could. Mini repair max. Ninety-nine percent good. Snipe body. Just me and you, bro. Boom.
Wow. Minotaur, hit this dude. Take him out. Oh, <laughs> double shot, double tap, double shot, nice. transport immediately. Immediately! Oh, I can't repair it! Oh, no! I cannot repair that. It won't let me repair it. Okay, full of war. Guns blazing, let's do this. Well, let me repair the, the ship. That sucks. Back at me all you want, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna die. Okay. Snipe body. They're both grenaders, so it won't matter so much, really. Take them both out. Three dudes left. Pair up. Her. Minotaur. It's a massive radius. I love it. I love having some options here at the end. I was freaking out because I was not going to have the ammo to do this. I'm glad I uh, made sure I had some items left to be able to do some of that. Otherwise, this just would not have worked. Excuse me. So, um, I kind of want to repair first. Machine gun ammo max. My repair guy will need that. Chafer's gonna need it. Yep, they're gonna go full barrel here. Jesus. Okay, so that's the case. Snipe body. Good shot. Nice. Let's do this. I think we got this out, Sin. Anybody else that's here, I think we totally got it. I need to go right in front of him, though. Shotgun time. Time to bring out the old shotgun. Boom! 
all the way. dude. You are not escaping in any way, shape, or form. Grave. Oh, Altison, everybody else is watching this too, please come by on Saturday, because if uh, if we don't have the Fish Sticks campaign running with uh, myself and Metallic Mike, then I will be running a subscriber-focused uh, gameplay of Battle Brothers. I have started up a game uh, for Battle Brothers with the Peasant uh, Militia, so I can get as many people as I can, and for subscribers... You will get a name as one of the peasant militia men. So whatever you want, uh, I will be the bannerman for Team Trigger, and we'll be playing to basically just beat the game and beat everything in the game. We will beat the uh, Black Monolith, we will beat the Goblin City, we will beat all those things. But so far, I'm kind of like a quarter into the game as far as setting it up and everything. I've got like 14 bros or whatever and uh, I'm trying to level them up to make them good and so we're gonna go through every kind of cataclysm possible and beat everything imaginable in the game with the uh, peasant militia. So that's what I'm gonna do but that'll be a subscriber thing and if it's literally just kind of like that on Saturdays, I'll just do a whole day of Battle Brothers and we'll just do a subscriber thing. If you're a subscriber, you will be named after one of the bros. You can pick the name or I will name you. It's up to you. It's your choice. But, uh... Yeah, that's going to be a fun thing. So if we're not doing the Fish Sticks campaign, then we'll do that. And, uh, kind of play it like that, you know? But other than that, uh, tomorrow's gonna be some cross mark. We'll be, uh, getting a lot further. Close to the end of the game. I don't know how far we'll get. It's, it's really encumbrance upon the other guys, my other friends actually being here and helping level up and all that stuff. To be able to... This is totally unnecessary, but okay. <laughs> to uh, to level up and all that stuff, but um, it's the crusade for the Brigadine game is basically us uh, just trying to win the game. I don't know if it's possible. From the version that he had set up, apparently, I think he thought it's possible, but we'll see if it truly is possible when we play it. So we'll definitely check it out, you know. I really don't need to be that close. Apparently it doesn't matter. It's this this stuff sticks for miles. <laughs> it sticks for miles. We'll be alright. <laughs> we'll be totally fine. But yeah, there's stuff going on tomorrow, there's stuff going on on Saturday. 
Oh yeah, tomorrow, oh wait, tomorrow is going to be a uh, fun day of Crusader Kings. I might put up some Crusader Kings before or later. I really do want to do it earlier. Uh, just things always seem to pop up on Thursdays for some whatever reason they're at. So, and then I don't get to do much, but I'm going to see what I can do tomorrow, uh, tomorrow for Thursday. We'll get something running earlier. So I'd like to run earlier in a day. Like, If I could run as early as 4 or 6 in the afternoon, I might actually do that. Uh, I, I want to get up like earlier in the day just to be able to set up some games and uh, just, you know, relax, just enjoy. I know that's not everybody's time frame, but I'd like to be able to get up earlier and do things, you know? Minotaur Bazooka, good night, bro. No! You missed, Regis! What's going on, man? Wow. Boost three, please. Oh! Right there! Good shot, man. Good shot. All the way behind you. You shall not escape me. Here we go. So yeah, lots of stuff going on on this channel. Thanks everybody for following. Thank you for subscribing. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much. If you happen, please do. And uh, please subscribe on Twitch. That would help me out a ton. Everybody that has subscribed on Twitch, thank you very much. That's the reason why I'm going to be doing something special on Saturdays. And uh, if if um, Attack Mike's here, then we'll do the fish sticks because you know get to play some and have, you know just enjoy the night with a friend. But um, other than that, I'm going to be making a team trigger team for Battle Brothers that is going to be insanely strong. We're going to make it as powerful as possible, beat all the cataclysms, and beat all the things that the damn game has to offer. Because Battle Brothers is very, very difficult. Very difficult. Ba boom Screenshot! Save! Someone save that clip right there. That was the very last shot of the possible game. That is the end of Front Mission 4 for now. I think. Maintenance 230. Oh man, I thought it was going to be a lot harder. Other battle. Oh, it was way harder than that. Way harder than that. It's finally over. I'm going to take a small intermission break because I want to see the end. So if you want to take a small break, go right ahead. I know it's late, early in the morning for you and all that, but this is literally the end of the game. There are no more battles. I really don't believe so. And if there is, then I will quit playing forever. All games. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is the very end. I'm going to take a small intermission. I'll be right back. One minute intermission. I'll be back and let's enjoy the finale of the game, okay?
Okay, all right. We are almost totally done. And all the bad guys died. So <laughs> they all died, they all went to hell or wherever they went and they're gone. That's it. That's it. So, you know what I was almost considering? Um, if you want to let me know in Discord what you want to see tomorrow, because I think I'll be free tomorrow. I don't think I'll be doing Crusader Kings from now that I remember. Um, but if you want to let me know, let me know. I might do Twist Metal 3. I want to beat that game. I usually beat that with my friend Raging Paul, but I want to see if I can beat it solo. So let me know if you want to see Twist Metal 3 tomorrow or if you want to see some Bloodstained. I might move into Bloodstained tomorrow, but let me know on Discord. If you don't let me know, then I'm just going to pick one. But if you have a suggestion, please let me know for tomorrow, okay? We definitely deserve a vacation. <laughs> wow, that is deep, Altison. Was it the ending you wanted? We will be waiting. <laughs> we'll come back and take it away. Do not worry! It is in good hands! Now we're aboard the Durandal. I think it's the Durandal. This is something else. Problem? <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll just send. I'd, I'd have to say that this is probably. This ending makes sense, you know. I think it's a good ending, actually. I never let the game just run, though, you know, after this to see if. Is there another island? Is it gonna scroll to another island up there? It's gonna come back and just, like, recycle for a bit? I'm not gonna wait that long, though. No. I'm just wondering where you'd been hiding that gigantic soft side of yours. I always knew you had it in you. I didn't need you to tell me that, Chafer. <laughs> I didn't need you to tell me that, Chafer. Who do you think I'd be more like, uh, Altison? Daryl or Rengas? By the way, where are we going? I don't know yet. But I think it's safe to say we can afford to think about it a little longer, amigos. Amigos. I don't think no, so, Alton. He's coming your way. <laughs> Roger, Arrow Six. And this is you, Alton, right there. Are you getting slow in your old age, Arrow Four? Hey, hey! I was just taking it easy on him, all right? You're not bad, but this is the end of the line. Sorry, but this is all part of the Durando tradition. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. That's a Zenith or the Zanelov. Me? Who was it from? It was that journalist again. Uh, what's his name? Lancaster. Yeah, that guy. He said he'd be waiting at the usual place. Are you going to go? Of course. We are having a welcoming party there, are we not? The real hero. That's right. Hmm. If he is so eager to meet one of us, I say we let Mr. Lancaster foot the bill. And that's for all of us, right? And that's appropriate, actually. Now you're talking. All the Randall units, prepare for mass consumption. <laughs> that's actually appropriate. If you're gonna invite somebody out somewhere, you foot the bill. <laughs> Lancaster's gonna have to foot that bill. That's totally fine. That's cool. Alright everybody, this is the end of Front Mission 4. Wands are Wednesdays. Um, I'll have to come back to this at some point, but I'm gonna be playing some other Wands or games, uh, this is an amazing game. If you haven't checked it out or, ha or have played it, please do. Uh, 
find it somewhere. We are always looking for something to give <laughs> you want, our lives if you want to ask me where to find it, I'll tell you about it otherwise. Work, family, or even basic greed. Anything that can get us through today, tomorrow, and the day after. If we lose this anchor that keeps us moored to the shores of reality, we become derelicts on a sea of loneliness, carried slowly away by the drifts of time towards death. But some people can become the wind that fills our sails and the guiding light that brings us to safe harbor. I believe it is a power that we all have. All we need is the will to use it. I'd say that Front Mission 3 is a lot of fun, but this one really takes a lot of dedication and a lot of it, it, it takes a lot of thought. And uh, even me thinking that you know things aren't going to turn out well or even work, sometimes just from playing a lot of games, it looks like that's the future perspective of things. And uh, being able to change things around and make them happen. It is all a part of tactical planning, but it's still, it's a little stressful. This game is, without a doubt, harder than Front Mission 3. Now, I know you might be like, well... No, it's harder than Front Mission 3 because it's all about planning, positioning, setting up links, skills, uh, making sure you have equipment set that you can... You all kind of, you know, basically have options. But this is an amazing game. Definitely check it out if you haven't. And, uh, you know, all that stuff. No easy wins, no. There are no easy wins, no killers. I, you saw some of those other battles. That, that The Paris, the Paris battle? Oh my gosh, I almost totally lost. You were with me that a whole time, Altison. Thank you so much for being here that long. That was a hard battle. I've never gotten down to one guy. We're almost totally lost it. Though I lost that one British guy, that was over. It was over. You know? It was over 30 rounds. I know. It's This, this stuff goes... This is like 40-minute, hour-long battle. This is kind of like Battle Brothers in a sense, where you're going into the like end-tier battles and you're just taking a really long time to like micromanage all these little movements to make sure you get everything right you know and you got to get everything right to move forward or you just totally lose you know that's a part about stra strategy yeah overall sense but more or less tactics you know I say strategy a lot but really what I like a lot of the stuff that I do is tactics so tactics uh, really revolve around a lot of things, and um, this game has a lot of tactics in it. A lot of tactics. So. There was never any fear. <laughs> no, there was no fear, but there was definitely a lot of oh shit moments where you're like, oh no. 
Is this gonna play? Is this gonna work out? Is this gonna pan out? Am I gonna be able to do this? Because as soon as I got down to the one sniper, I'm like, can I even make it there? I hope those other guys focus on me, which I was thinking they would. It got a little dicey there with the two big guys, you know? But I figured I play my cards right, I play a lot of D, and I can get in there in time, kill off what's gonna attack that one dude, and save him, you know? This little uh, salute at the end is awesome. This is really good. You know, Square, you... I love playing Final Fantasy 3, but as far as tactics go, you really outdid yourself with Final Fantasy. Or no, Final Fantasy. Front Mission. I'm mixing everything up now. Now, now it's late. Now it's early in the morning. <laughs> Thanks for Front Mission. Front Mission 4. Front Mission 4. This is literally one of my favorite games, though. Uh, I've, I've played this multiple times in the past. I have not streamed. This is the first time I've streamed this to my channel. And it probably won't be the last, but like this game would be really interesting to set up with other people to see how they could tactically set up links and all that sort of stuff. Oh man, would that be insane? You know, but um, some other people want to play some Front Mission 3 with me. I might play some Front Mission 3 with some other people. You can kind of go off on your own and do what you want with that. That's cool, but Front Mission 4, I mean... People came into my stream asking me or talking to me saying like, I got to a certain point in the game and I couldn't get anywhere. I couldn't, I, I couldn't beat it. I couldn't go anywhere. It's, it's because this game is so freaking hard because you have to set up the links in just the right way that it's not that, a, that the right way that it works, but the right way that works for you. And you have to keep that momentum running. You know, so if you're like, this tactic works for me, I like these two guys together, I want them to move forward, you keep those guys together, kind of like a wingman, you know, think of the Air Force, think of, think of the military, think about having a wingman, like, this guy's my wingman, he's coming with me, boom, 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 you know, you both kind of like work together and you eat up the enemy territory and just knock it out, move forward like that, you know. You have your link set up. You can kind of go boom, 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 and move forward. I mean, that's that's kind of how the game runs. Kind of like a buddy buddy system, you know. I got your back, you got my back. You know, I kind of make things work like that, but a little more of a circular chain, you know. So I kind of have that moving, but I also have to kind of like remember in the background, like who's with who, you know. And that's that's where it gets really interesting. But it's it's this is an awesome game. This is literally an awesome game. Just because of the links, it, it, it makes it very complex, but very compelling to play. Very complex. If you really want something complex, this is an amazing game to play. Front Mission 4. Uh, you weigh the risk 3. Everything has the chance it immense danger are things gonna be harmless you just never know yeah three is kind of an all or nothing sometimes but from mission four you have to have your stuff set up and links in the right way and you got to have your stuff movement that's the reason why you see me move that's the reason why when you saw me playing the game here i'm moving up i'm positioning most of the time i'm positioning i'm positioning my repairman to repair and then next turn, he's linked up to do an attack. So he's set to do an attack, but I'm having him do a repair first. And then the other guy does the attack because I have him set. So I'm constantly going Ch -ch 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 -ch, like this, snaking around all over the place just so I have just the right movement so that he's not blocking somebody else to do the attack. Do you know what I'm saying? So anyways. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the problem with three is the whole ejection thing. Half the time you get ejected sometimes. You're like, what? I get ejected and boom, he's dead? I think there's a reason they took that out too. Because they're like, there were times, and, and you probably saw some of that too, Altison. I get ejected out of my Wanzer, and they just go up and kill the guy. And I'm like, oh, rip, no. That, no. No, I'm just, no. I'm just restarting this. And... And there's games that do that stuff. And it's just crazy, weird, 
just kill you immediately no reason whatsoever battle brothers does that too sometimes there's been times that i mean there's there are other games that kill you immediately out of the blue and you're like yeah about that i'm gonna hit reset <laughs> this game doesn't do that so much immediately it does give you time to plan and set things up but there are things that do get a little too far <laughs> Sorry, like my stress level goes uh, shoots first guy and shoots and shoots <laughs> and he's dead no chain yeah yeah from mission three you gonna have you literally can just put Ryogo on the front lines with a rough uppy chain rate of fire up chain and just he'll go crazy and just kill the one dude so from mission three is um it's it's hard too but it's uh you can get some randomness that is just craziness. And and Ryogo is the serial killer of the game. He he'll just, just shoot everybody up with Rafuppi and just break them. You know? And there's no chain. I mean, you can get the skill for chains in Front Mission 3, which is why they adopted it in Front Mission 4. They're like, but you know what? That one skill where you could get two other guys to help you out in a battle, they're like, that is really awesome. That is so rare. I want to do that more often. Let's put it in Front Mission 4. And they threw it into Front Mission 4. And bam! That was the whole background of this game, which made it so complex and so interesting. This is so interesting. If you want to play a very intricate, interesting game, this is where you go. This is what you play. But um, I'm just going to save it up over the game file, back out, see what happens. Backup fire, that's what it was called. Um, and I think we're going back to the beginning, probably. Yep, that's that. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. This is a long night. We talked a lot about everything under the sun. I have my opinions about things. You can talk about it if you want. Let me know what you think. Uh, other than that, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a like on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. I got the... I'm going to upload the old episode from last week on, uh, for, I guess, tomorrow. I don't think I did that yet. Maybe I did. But if I didn't, whether I did or I didn't, I'm going to put this one up here anyways. Uh, thanks for liking on YouTube. Thanks for subscribing on YouTube. Please subscribe on Twitch. I'll be live here on Twitch. So you'll see me here. Altison's here all the time, so get to talk to him too. He's a cool guy. And... Uh, so next week we'll be playing either Gun Hazard, Front Mission 5, Armored Core. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just kind of want to pick one of the one of the three and just kind of run with it. And uh, just kind of alternate. I might do Gun Hazard next week. Just to, it's been so long, man. It's been so long. So, yeah, it's, it's probably going to be tough for me. I have not played it in the longest time. I tested it out to make sure it worked, but I didn't get past the first stage. I just like got to the end of the stage. I think I beat the guy, and then I just was like, okay, it works, great. And that's as far as I got. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, uh, thanks everybody for being here. This is Front Mission 4. If you haven't checked it out, uh, it's a Squaresoft game. Pretty cool. And if you want to see some more Wanzers on Wednesday, you know where to stop by. And I will showcase something this coming week on Wednesday. Other than that, tomorrow I might do some Bloodstain. But if you have another uh, idea, let me know in Discord. Discord link down below. Other than that, I am going to hit the sack. It is almost 3 in the morning here. And... Uh, get more now but uh thanks Altison for being here for everybody else that was here as well hope you all enjoyed hope you all had a great night and i uh i will see you manana
We are victorious! We are victorious! Sire!